Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, <laughs> your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games and the cutest cats. Yes. Come here. Come here, kitties. Come here, kitties. Welcome, everybody, yeah. to the Twitch live stream or on YouTube if you're watching mm -hmm. it later. We have four games to play tonight. Mm -hmm. One is an exclusive Ooh. that nobody's ever seen or heard about. Excellent. Except if you know that we're playing it. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. It's called Space Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. um, and it is by Ricardo Pym. Nice. Um, who also did uh, Asteroids Attack, mm. which we played fairly recently, the final mm -hmm. version of that. Um, we're also going to play Alice in Wonderland. It is just the start of a game. Okay. So it's just a portion Almost of Almost like a little demo kind of. Yeah, yeah. just the beginning of it. But yeah. we're going to take a look at it. It's enough to play around with it a little bit. Cool, cool. Um, we're going to be playing Go Sub 2. Uh, actually, Alice in Wonderland is brand new. Okay. Um, Go Sub 2 is from 2008. Nice. It's by Atari 2600 Land, the yeah. most prolific 2600 programmer. Nice. I, I'm very sure by far. Yeah. By hundreds mm. of games, actually. Wow. Um, cool. And then we're going to challenge ourselves to Star Master. Okay. 1982 game in space. Mm -hmm. Space games. Two space games today. Yes. And I found it oh, the last part. minute. Yeah. Yep. It doesn't have too much Acta Plaque. Acta Plaque. <laughs> Activision Plaque. Ooh. Um, yeah, it, it's not transmissible to humans. Good. It's, it's, it's not like COVID. Is this the origins of COVID? No. Atari, Atari 2600 games. <laughs> uh, only other Activision cartridges can <laughs> catch it from. Can catch it from, from what? Other, yeah, okay. yeah. Fair enough. Um, and they all have it. Yeah. It's a hundred percent transmission rate. Yeah. Um, uh, and and I was if it actually were contagious, uh, there would be no audience <laughs> for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody would be have touched an Activision game. Yeah. Oh, somebody's asking about the change of time for Champ Spotlight. Yeah, yes. we announced that like months ago that oh. it had changed, but tonight was going to be the night of it. Oh, I see. I see. Um, but it gives him more time to work on Gorf Arcade. I think he wanted to do some. He wanted it to be a little bit more finalized. A little bit more polished. Okay. Gives me more time to to prepare yeah. for it. So mm -hmm. it's all good. That's on the eighteenth. Yeah. So if you don't like this show and you just came for John Champo. <laughs> You can shut it off now <laughs> and watch on the 18th of December. Yeah, he'll be um, but stick around. Yes. We're going to be playing some fun games. Um, thank you to all the Twitch subscribers mm. uh, Alnifer, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic Catalogs, Coconut Eddy One, Dan ABC, Glenn Main, Grey Defender, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Ojur Rapper 2600, Bad Cats. The cats are fighting. John and Nitro, <laughs> Johnny WC23, Carl G, Mark Spacek, Metal Atari 1969, Mick Muse. M.K. Smith, Mr. Vix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Pack Rat, VG Cohog, 2600, RC70, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Bim, Smitty B7800, mm -hmm. Socrates 0603, Spartan 501, Esmeralda 2008, The Welsh 99, Tiki Dan K, and it's down the side there, mm -hmm. virtually. You can almost grab it. But <laughs> you can't, but you guys can see it. Mm -hmm. um, and you can support the show and subscribe for free as well and get your name listed there if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime. You looking for your name? Yeah, I think it's gone. <gasps> Damn. They never tell you. My own wife doesn't even support. <laughs> Somebody asked me, I can't remember who it was, if you yeah. were my wife or my sister. Oh, funny. There, I'm no, showing if you ever... some nice affection to her. There yeah. you go. Uh, no, definitely <laughs> wife. Uh, yes. He does have a sister. Yes. And, uh, oh, thank you, Miss Kamen. Uh, if, you, if your sister was here, you would know. They look, cringe, they look lol. so... Yeah, cringe. <laughs> yeah, we don't um, look alike. So. No. Yeah. No, everybody's really. going to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, you would, you would, your sister married. Yeah, yeah, married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Different rings, but yeah. Um, yeah, maybe one day my sister will come on the show. Yeah. Oh, thank know. you, Armscar Coder. Yeah. And Miss Command for resubscribing because mm -hmm. you didn't see your name on there. <laughs> Miss Command. No, not your name. And Armscar Coder. Nope. Excellent. Thank you for adding your name. Uh, they won't appear this week because I have to manually type those in. It's not a magic thing, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But they'll be on there next week. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you follow and subscribe and click like on all the things. All Twitch, the things. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, so you know when we're live. You know when a new video goes up. Yeah. You know when I put a picture up on Instagram <laughs> once in a while. So we got some feedback from uh, Zero Page Homebrew the Game. Oh, yeah. That we played <laughs> yeah, last so episode. Cute. 
um, that Leandra Camara made. Yes. Um, Tom Tom Vicky says your game should be made available. I would buy it. It Aww. features cats. It features cats. It does. There's the cats are freaking adorable too. Fighty cats down there. Oh, they're they're attacking each other. They're Do not... it on camera. At least yeah. that, that provides some drama. Well, maybe there's no room for them here. I'll provide some fight space for them. Yeah. There. Right here. Usually do it off camera. Yeah. Sometimes I do it on camera. Yeah. Um, Eugenio Anguera says, Zero page 2600 looks good. Mm -hmm. uh, dwarf cats. It's, dwarf says, cats at 4131. Yeah. <laughs> ha ha ha. Yeah. Zero page homebrew. <laughs> Malchito says, yeah, in the pixel bonus round, pixel should be trying to get uh, to the other side of an Atari 2600. Over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you're blocking him. There. At which point the game ends. <laughs> He flicks it off. Uh, the ball should be a joystick. The co-host trying to push the button to bypass the title screens. Nice. <laughs> Skip the title screens. <laughs> Nobody wants to see those. They only worked a lot on them. Oh, he knows. That person knows. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Malchitos. Uh, Logan Jorgensen says, oh, very cute. Decent likenesses of you two. Yeah, not bad. Hitting the anime hair gel there. James. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I have like this. Big, floofy, floppy it's hair. It's awesome. Yeah, flock of seagulls hair. Flock of seagulls. Um, oh, Canada. The good old red, white, and blue. Uh, <laughs> it should be uh, about getting cats off the equipment. Yes. Or yelling at them to not fight each other. Yes. <laughs> I like the character class aspects between the players. Yeah, the differences. It's not just the visual differences. They actually can move faster. Yeah. And they're different sizes, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Brad McFeegan says, you need to put this on a cart now. <laughs> I would love to have an actual zero page game in physical form, which That's we're nice. going to do. Yes. We're going to put it on cart. Yeah. Uh, I'm, just I'm, a limited run though. Let's yeah. Know. Just, yeah. just, a, uh, just some, cause I, I don't think mm. uh, it needs to go in the Atari age store mm -hmm. or anything. I'm just going to print like 10 copies, one for each of us. Yeah. And then the leftovers I'll give away as prizes. Right. I, I don't think I'll sell them. Yeah. I'll just give them away. Um, thank you, uh, Ojo Rapper 2600 for yeah. subscribing. Yeah. Oh, the hype train. Look at that. So many people subscribed in a row that uh, Twitch thinks it's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi. Pixel. He's in a very good mood. He's very purry. He's in a very... Um, I don't know what mood he's in now. Yeah, he's in a fun mood. He's looking up at the Atari. Is right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yep. There we go. There we go. Come on. Let's get over here where you can do no harm. Yeah. yeah you lay down. Lay down. Yeah. There we go. No. Nope. <laughs> Not gonna happen. You can't make cats do anything. No. Um, Champ Games is working on a TIA tracker. Mm. Uh, TIA is the... Oh, Great Defender. 100 mm. bits. Got 200%! Whatever that means! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I have Hi, no idea. train. <laughs> I don't know. There's some threshold. I don't know what that is. That people <laughs> donate or do things on the channel. Yeah. And the, the levels can go up they forever. They go up, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Need a cat herding game. Yes. There's that pug herding game, kind of herding, mm. that went after the fences and they never updated that game. Aww. It was so cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, somebody could make a cat herding, a cat herding game. <laughs> um, <laughs> So Champ Games is working on a TIA tracker. A tracker is a program that you make music in. You mm. track the music. Okay. Put the notes and okay. how long they are and what sound they are. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, so let's yeah. take a look at that really quickly here. Nice. Um, so here it is. They posted on their uh, Facebook page mm. the, to, the speed up. Um, to speed up, uh, development of future games, Champ Games is working on a TIA sound editor to help create music and sound effects. Bad cats. The utility runs on a real Atari 2600 or emulator and features an intuitive UI, including a piano view, for adding notes for both audio channels, mm. modifying the volume and instruments, and applying an ADSR, attack decay, sustained release. So that is an uh, envelope mm. for some cool effects. Bad cat. Uh, data can be saved and loaded to the Atari Vox save key for future editing. Mm. So you can save your music. Oh my God, <laughs> stop it. Uh, a utility on a development computer can be used to read the save, D save key data uh, from the emulator or directly from an attached Atari Vox save key and output to a usable format, assembly C Atari basic. Yeah, you're gonna hop off on the mixer, aren't you? 
Um, so you can export it to your computer hmm. and then include it in your own games, the music that you make with the program. That's very cool. <gasps> Thank you, Esther is 2008. Yay! Subscribe for 18 months. Oh, my God. That's such a long time. That is long. Time. Cat herding. Great hack for Stampede. <gasps> yeah. That's a great hack. Yeah, yeah, they can yeah, all yeah, be yeah. cats. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> different colored cats because they're yeah. different colored cows in Stampede. Oh, my God. That would be so cute. So don't you run into them and they go faster? Yeah. You, you block them. You kind of block them and they run back, run to the front of the screen and then they slowly come back again. Or you can mm. rope them. So what would, how would you, how, what would you do to replace that? The roping? Um, mm. You could throw treats at them. I was going to say you could throw, throw a cat toy so they run to the end. But, um, yeah, you could yeah. throw a cat toy. I mean, it's a last, it's a, it's a line. Yeah. And that has, they still has to be there. Yeah. Or you can have no line, but it'd be better with a line. And it can be, I, I don't know what it is at the end. Mm. It might be a player character, mm. but I don't think so because there's not enough room. It might be difficult. Yeah. You might have to make little dots for cat treats or something. Yeah. Um, we plan on using this to help finish up the sounds for Gorf Arcade coming in 2021. Mm. And you will see a preview of that on the 18th of December. Nice. When he's, uh, when John Shampoo's on the show. Um, so I uh, so we'll take a look at the graphics for that. So you can see, you can place the notes, um, and there's different volumes there. Not sure what everything is there, but at least there's volume settings here. Um, it shows what type of sound it is there. Buzz. Um, somebody did something. Something following, I was following. Speakers, following, something like speaker, it's powered <laughs> up. I didn't nice. change that, the levels. I remember commenting on that last time. Mm. And there's another view. Oh my God. Um, you can see how long the notes that's are. That's really looks cool. Like. So that's yeah. where it starts and that's how long it's held for. So do, mm. do, 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 do. Yeah. Um, and there's also a piano roll for this so you can see what notes oh cool they are associated with so it oh, looks like he's neat. using these built-in tia sounds yeah and what that is is just a range of frequencies divided by 32. Mm. so none of the notes are perfect yeah yeah <laughs> and um and i sent uh, a message to him about that mm. saying that it reminded me of the story um that oh, what is it right here um the grayed out piano notes remind me of the fun story behind the music of gary kitchen's uh pressure, pressure cooker. cooker so what gary kitchen did is did what he did like um but handed it to a musician you can see he's um blanked out hype train success oh what did we get it just finished it's That's a cow or something what Choo choo. It's no like a, it's a shield. Hype shield. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. It's a person behind a shield. I thought that was the cow's face with the nose or something. Oh, funny. Um, so you can see he's got the grayed out keys oh. and the white keys. Um, so what uh, Gary Kitchen did is he handed the list of keys you can use to make the music mm. for Pressure Cooker. And he said, make a, make a song out of just these keys. Mm. And he made the song. Um, that's very cool. So that's a, f a fun little tidbit mm -hmm. of information. Um, so looking forward to that because that may help a lot of people uh, create music because they can just make it in that program, export it, put it in their Batari Basics um, game or uh, assembly game. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, and somebody's asking, will it uh, allow multiple TIA updates per frame for more advanced sound effects? Because there are ways of altering the sounds really really quickly so you do get perfect notes mm. um so mm. maybe as the the program progresses he'll add that feature in yeah i you hope so that's, that's very cool yeah mm -hmm. um so domishtan whose name is uh brooke anderson posted 14 hours ago uh today early in the morning mm. playing around with the idea of trying to do a version of trench do you remember that game where you're getting very frustrated flying high and low and middle over the bars oh yeah and flying through yeah yeah yeah, the yeah. Things. yeah yeah i was getting frustrated <laughs> um 
But he said, but with vertical scrolling this time. Oh, yeah. Never figured out a way to get rid of the scanline twitch jump from the menu into the game on the first. Mm. Anyway, just wondering what is causing the little ship bounce. We'll see that. Uh, doubt I will have lasers on this one with the width problem. Lasers work better scrolling horizontally. horizontally. Just turn them on and off. Also with more layers of depth. I'm wondering how playable this could be. Mm. But, so he's made a proof of concept of this game mm. that I want to show you. It looks uh, amazing. Mm. Uh, amazing. Go. Oh. Well, so we're going to take a look at his proof of concept. He's got the ship flying, and he's also got the... Um... Does it run? Yep. Go for it. Yep. So, like, you can go up and down, so it makes oh, the ship smaller and larger. Oh, I really like that. Just gorgeous. So, so there's no obstructions yet. It's no. just, it's just this. So he's trying to work out the oh, obstructions right there's now. There's something that is so <laughs> retro about the the <laughs> lines scrolling down, like down. Yeah. So he's got playfield, I That's think, very doing cool. the whole background. Yeah. Um. So he's got. I'm guessing player zero for the ship. So yeah. he's so he's got leftover player one. He's got missiles left over. Um, he could do a quad wide player mm. and a quad wide missile. That's not very wide. Quad wide player would be eight times four, 32 wide. So he could do some special things. Wow. He says, wow, psychedelic, man. It is man. psychedelic. <laughs> How can I find more about this music ROM thingy? Um, you can go to Champ Games' Facebook page, just Champ Games, and you can see all the screenshots there. Um, it's not is it's not downloadable yet, but you can read about all the information there. Uh, Claudia had had a had a gear had a girl. I don't know. It's very long. But thank you for following. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you for watching. That's very cool. So yeah, yeah. and I love the. You can really tell the three D effect how high and low you are. Mm. Um, so I hope he is able to continue on with this, um, and I'd be very interested to see how he represents mm. the things going down the screen. Hello, back to Brazil. Yes. So anyway, very very cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else do I have here? That was the proof of concept. So it's not really even a game yet. You can't score. You can't do anything. You can mm. just move around a bit. Mm -hmm. um, Thomas Yench uh, posted um, today, yesterday. Um, he's done another trackball hack of a game. And I have a bunch of the trackball hacks up there. They're amazing. They're usually, what he usually did was concentrate on games that were in the arcade that mm. used the trackball, like Missile Command. Um, but when they were ported to the 2600, um, they, there was no official games made for the trackball for the 2600. So they were all done on joystick. Mm. Um, but they screamed out for the trackball. And there is a trackball. So he put two and two together and made a whole bunch of amazing hacks mm -hmm. that changed the games into using the trackball. Trackball, yeah. And now he's just posted another one. Oh, cool. Um, and it's for a game that actually wasn't released. It's a fully functional prototype that was also just added to the plus card high scores. Oh, of which cool. I have the highest of high scores of right now. <laughs> um, I did really, really well. Oh, it nice. went crazy really it, well really high score yeah good and at that speed it was it was nuts i don't even know how i was able to get sometimes you survive. have a lucky run too you yeah know? yeah you Come coming on. up yeah yeah there's a kitty so we're gonna take a look at that really really quick okay um we're not gonna do an in-depth um play of it okay um i don't know how well it actually translates to the trackball okay i had a lot of trouble playing it with the trackball um so it's called meltdown uh, 22. Sorry. Oh, kitty. Sorry, kitty. He's taking your spot. Of course he is. It's warm. <laughs> it's warm. Yeah. Yeah, you take his spot. Okay. He's making a hell of a noise. Okay, move over. Okay. Oh, oh you started ah, it. What, what, what did I do? It's okay. I'll tell you how to play. So you have a vertical aimer. 
Okay. And a horizontal aimer. And you should be able to move down. No, I'm not moving any. Oh! No? Can't see the screen. <laughs> no, it's not working anyway yet, but... Uh, <laughs> We can't go. see! <laughs> there we go. I think I'm going to restart. It yeah, may, it, it didn't quite work properly. It may so. have a, some sort of detector. Yeah. Don't worry, you haven't missed anything. You haven't missed anything. No. We restarted it. Oh, troubles. I was playing this. Were you? Just before it the It was show. working, yeah. Is it properly plugged in? Oh, yeah. Like, I can fire. Hmm. Maybe I played the 80 version? Maybe I Try the other one? made a mistake, but I oh, thought I tried the 80 first. Ready. It just goes to the left and then stays there. What is happening? Look! Kind of working. Maybe it's my trackball. It was working. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who That's have obnoxious. working trackballs yeah. and don't just want to stop working as soon as you load up uh, the game, um, <laughs> it's neat looking. Is it yeah. trackball in TV mode? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. See, it's, it's kind of going up. It was. Hmm. I've had trouble with the trackball in the past. See? Oh, oh, it's kind of working. It's going up and down now. A little bit. All right. Poorly. It was working, and I was playing. Well. Anyway, you, you aim. That, yeah. that little dot sense. flies around your planets. Yeah. Um, and, and destroys eats them. them by the looks of them. Yeah. And when they're flashing like that... They're dead. Um, they're dead. Yeah. So you have to destroy the little but know. you can't it's not moving right and left either that's no. weird so as they get smaller and smaller yeah it's destroying them yeah it's beautiful the colors are dirty really track cool. ball. yeah yeah it's using some really advanced um i mean you can see how it works but yeah to get those really round mm. um yeah do you have another track ball no i mm. don't mm. Well, let's try and unplug it and plug it back in. I don't know. Like, it's going up and down. Kind of, but it's not... It doesn't I'm quite feel guys. right. Yeah, they do fluff things up. Miss Command, or Pixel and Atari Sorry. Real Brothers. I know. Um, brothers by choice, we'll say. <laughs> brothers by force. <laughs> brothers by force. Yeah. They didn't get much choice in the uh, territory they were they were assigned. So, um, Pixel is four years older than Atari, even though he's the teeny tiny cat. It's not working at all, is it? No. Tried the twenty two again, which the, it was working on the twenty two. Mm -hmm. Uh, anyway. Yeah, that's a shame. Did you hold down the button when booting up the encore? Ooh. Thank you. Atari. Probably. See, I don't. I forget because I barely use the trackball. The trackball. And you know okay, what? Okay, fingers crossed. That's probably. Oh, oh Rena yay! Foot to the rescue. Uh, yay, Rena Foot! Oh, now it's not. Oh, going. it's not quite working. It's still going to the right. It's still not working properly. It went to the left and then, and then stopped. stopped. Yeah. The up and down is working. Somewhat. But you, it doesn't matter because the silly thing is. Yeah, up and down is. Working pretty good. Yeah, that's weird. Not great, but pretty good. Left and right, so it's not yeah, going right. Yeah, it's the left and right is, is a little off. Then it then it's dirty. <laughs> it's dirty. Yeah, maybe. But James was just using it, so that's a little weird. But... I remember when we were playing all those trackball games. Yeah. Um, some of the times it wasn't working. But anyway, we yeah. weren't going to play this anyway. Yeah, you just wanted to show it off. I just it, and to and show it off. you can see how it works. It's and it's beautiful. The colors in it are beautiful. Yeah, it's it's a gorgeous fun game yeah um i'm not sure if it's super suited for trackball if your trackball works better than mine maybe yeah <laughs> it's it would be fun no not on the desk <laughs> over desk there cat. 
bad cats. Oh, come on, calm down. Why are you being so bad? It's just bad. It's just You're bad being cat. such a bad kitty. So, um, he said, during the day, last few days, I've created a trackball hack of Meltdown. Unfortunately, it doesn't play well with a trackball, probably because the cursors are moving only in fixed intervals and you have no real target cursor. Okay, so it doesn't actually work well. It's, as of, it's still an early game, I guess. Yeah, yeah, as of now, I have no idea how to improve here. The code doesn't allow for smooth cursor movement, and it would require a major rewrite to fix this. Anyway, attached, you find my hack. For all three trackballs, NTSC and PAL-60, for instructions, please check blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to test with Stella, you have to use 6.2.x or older, 6.3. 6.4, have an auto-fire bug in trackball games. It will be fixed in the next release. So it's a few issues there, but um, if you can get it working smoothly with a trackball, it might work well. Because it's on a grid. You're moving in a grid. You can mm. four across and four down. So I think it could work well if he gets it really smooth. Mm. Yeah. Did you get an envelope in the mail? Not recently. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I would open it, because that's the end of our news. No unboxing. No. Um, and I did open the 7800 um, uh, mod last episode. Yes. Right? Yeah. Okay. I think so. so I did. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Um, Ground Trooper got one. Woo! Wait, way to go, Ground Trooper. An envelope in the mail. <laughs> I mean, I showed off my patch last week too, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I did get an envelope in the mail just last, last week. week. Yeah. I maybe maybe I'm expecting another envelope. Now. Oh, sure. Oh. I've no. Maybe okay. from from yeah. Maybe from Arena. Yeah. Flight? Okay. So we're gonna go we're to getting a lot of packages. A lot of packages. Yeah. Um, like multiple a day because yeah. of Christmas, Christmas yeah. presents that we need to send out. Yeah. So we've got an exclusive 2020 work in progress game Space Pac-Man by Sorry. Ricardo Pym. This is from November 26th. It's fresh. It's new. It's from yesterday. Yeah. It's a 16K game. Uh, he's also put out Asteroids Attack, mm. Battle Zuma, and Space Pac-Man. It is not available right now. Mm. I don't know when or where this may be available. I'm excited. I like any Pac-Man themed games. In space! Nice. So I'll let you struggle with that while I change I'm not the sure. graphics. Am I am I getting things? Um, you're capturing those pellets oh. that are going up the screen um, and avoiding ghosts. It's kind of like freeform Pac-Man. That's kind of cute, actually. I like that. Uh, also, totally digging the um, pastel uh, ghosties. There we go. There's the right graphics. Uh, so the premise is, uh, your Pac-Man was living in pe in peace on his planet oh, when he was suddenly he kidnapped it. by Cosmic Arc. That's awesome! Look, by a cos he eats them. Did you notice he eats them? Oh yeah. He he can almost eat them too. Yeah, he almost There's eat that one. There's some very subtle, really good programming going on in this game, actually. Um, oh. And I'll point out a lot of it uh, as so we go. It's so cool. Oh, oh, it's over. Um, managing to escape, you'll be falling down back to your planet. So, if you're wondering why Pac-Man is a burning, flaming ball, it's because <laughs> he's... He's tum tumbling through the atmosphere? He's tumbling through the atmosphere, <laughs> burning up as he goes down. But yeah. apparently is inv uh, invulnerable. So the to... ghosts are the ghosts of all the all the um, astronauts who burned up in our atmosphere? Is that Ooh, what you're saying? Grim. Uh, I think they're the same ghosts. Uh, during the fall, you'll lose as much energy as you can by re uh, uh, by remaking. So eat the space pills, and yeah. you'll gain your energy back. You can see yeah, it at the bottom. I can see. That's that's like straight out of Mega Mania. <laughs> the, the, the font and the bar yeah. and the and the gray. Uh, this is an early version. It's very yeah. Um, ah, and ah. you can, at least in the beginning. Oh, Get it? Get those ghosts? You have a very short amount of time. Done. Yeah. Oh, nice. Now they're angry. Angry ghosts. Super angry. Uh, ah! uh, cool game looks nice. Always oh, better in space. Oh, not a patch. One to, one to Toronto arrived today. Uh. Oh. What could be coming in a envelope? Don't know. Patches. Patches <laughs> coming envelopes. Pieces of paper coming envelopes small things 
Small flat things <laughs> come in envelopes. Oh, the, the bar goes down really quickly now. Um, and he starts flashing red when it gets really low. Ah! Ah, dead! Oh! Um, nice! Space ghosts are your enemies. Touching them won't kill you instantly. Yep, it's got the music. Nice. Got Pac-Man music. Uh, but it will drain your energy, so stay away. Yellow pills also temp allow you to temporarily kill ghosts and red pythons. Fully recharge your energy. So you want to get those red ones. Yes. They go... They full, fill you up red. completely. I haven't seen red. I it's saw, when I've seen yellow. you eat all the ghosts. Yeah? That's when they come. Oh. So you want to eat all the ghosts. Yeah. Because then you have a chance to get your energy in full. Oh, not ruining the surprise. No, you shouldn't ruin the surprise. No, no, the no. Surprise is me opening it on the show. That's the fun part. Um, I need to calibrate the difficulty of the game, so watching other people play it will help, help a lot. Opinions and suggestions are always welcome. I have a lot of plans for the game. See you at the show. Oh. There it is. Try and get all four. Get no. back here. No. Oh, got it. Okay, now get the red pill. What red pill? It'll be coming. There it is. Full energy. There you go. Ah, nice. Nice. So, so, this game has a lot of really subtle, nice things going for it. Um, one is the graphics of your player is layered. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's got this kind of faded out. It's a floaty background. effect. Yeah. Um, another one is uh, the eating of the pellets. Oh. Not only does he open his mouth when he eats it, he opens his mouth when you get near it and not eat it too. Mm -hmm. So it's like a proximity effect. Um, and it doesn't eat it when you touch it. You have to be kind of a little bit closer. You have to be closer. above it. You have to kind of be above it. And then he changes. Looks a little mad. He's got like sunglasses on or something now. <gasps> Run. We're still pretty full health, so. But going to full always helps. Mm -hmm. um, and if you go to the edge of the screen, particularly the top edge, mm -hmm. and then you just let it go. Let what go? The joystick. When you're when you're in a safe spot, yeah, not very. Safe he kind of glides back a bit. He does, yeah. It's very smooth there. movement. Yeah, yeah. So up. You can push. Yeah. And and it glides back. It's very. And it also changes depending on which direction you're facing. The eyes go. Um, the ghost eyes are kind of spinning all the time. Mm -hmm. But your eyes go left and right, and I think he also squishes when he goes up and down. Goes up. And yeah. he looks his down. Eyes, his eyes go down, too. And he looks ah. down when he goes down. Yeah. So the graphics are different four ways. And, of course, the falling of the uh, of the uh, stars as well is very cool. That's a little... What do you think about that ghost, the fourth ghost that you get? Almost always damages you. Yeah, but that's okay because, but, because you're about to get the red, so, yeah. so it's you, you want to be, I guess, a bit careful if you have no life but yeah you may not want to and you see when when they get kind of close to you they they kind of dash at you sometimes yeah the ghosts mm -hmm. and they kind of go ah and then they stop they dashing chase at you. after yeah marina foot says nice starfield background the darker yellow is a nice touch yeah it's, it's mm -hmm. really really nice oh oh they're chasing you the scoreboard is reminiscent of mega mania yeah it's it's almost exactly mm -hmm. mega mania but it's in the early form. I'm sure he'll change like the font and the gray background. Because I mean, uh, I guess you you kind of do need a background. Maybe not. You could put the red. The blue wouldn't work over a black. Oh, yeah, you get a bit of damage there. But there's the fill. Nice. And I've now, got an extra life or something too. I don't know what that is. Or is that level? It's not explained. I think it's level. Yeah, because you, you I think when you die, you die. Ah! Whoa. I can't get away from him! <gasps> I couldn't even get away from him. That's pretty unfair. Yeah, it starts over. Like, like hmm. that's pretty fun. That is really cute. Yeah, I don't think you could make, you should make the levels 
so fast that you can't get away from the ghosts. Mm -hmm. So once they're touching you, you're dead, right? Ricardo Pim says, yes, my favorite game, Mega, Mega Mania. Oh, Mega Mania. Yeah. Yeah, Mega Mania is a very those, good game. Those two came after me. And then I couldn't get a, I couldn't run away from them. Yeah. Maybe their speed gets really high at some point. It's reminiscent of that other game, where you can't shake them off. If you get close to the enemy, you couldn't. You, you yeah, you basically was, really have to keep your distance at at a certain yeah. point. So you're you're just dead mm. if you touch them too close. I love that he's falling through space. It is. It's a he's really a little cool comet. Premise. He's a comet, is what he is. Yes. He's become a little Pac-Man Pac comet. Comic, comet. Oh! Oh! Look! Yeah. It do You don't die if you get them quick. You you the gotta run away pretty quick. Nice. So that doesn't go get you the next level. Maybe it's score. Maybe score. That would make sense. They do dive for you, which is really cool. Yeah. They do. They do kind of oh, chase after you. You almost ate it. Yeah, you have to be above oh. it. You have to almost be above it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you're below it, it doesn't always eat it. I find. Mm. Too close. Mm -hmm. Ah. When the bullets come on the screen, they sometimes they're a little bit wide. Just an observation. You're wide. Yeah, they're they're a little chunky. Mm. And then they get small. Oh, it's not I didn't a huge deal. That. Only yeah. sometimes. Only sometimes. Mm. Not all the time. Hmm. Sure why. I'm trying to figure out the levels. Oh, now it just went to another level. Mm. I don't know why yet. I like that he has like eyebrows. <laughs> he gets like a furrowed brow on his. Oh, on there his was face. a wide one. Nice. So, mm. so he's in the chat. Mm. Ricardo, yeah. Ricardo, um, I'm not sure how you get those yellow flags. And when they come, is it yeah. levels? It doesn't seem to be when you eat all the ghosts. <laughs> DJ it... Mip says, who needs walls? No one needs walls. That's right. Pac-Man is broken out. Yeah. And so have the ghosts. <laughs> yeah. So it's fair. Yeah. I love, I love his little face. I love that you're facing him instead of him being sideways, too. He's falling through space and time. <laughs> it's like infinite, infinite... Um, Space. Atmosphere, ah. because oh my goodness! Maybe you make it to they Earth after a, a while. They took a chunk out of oh, you there. They? Oh yeah. I need to fill up. Yeah. Stay away. Oh, here we go. Get him! Yeah, run away! Ah. Oh, I need that fill up. Yeah. Get it. Oh. So this is, oh, when you made it to the second level, that's when you couldn't escape the, the, the ghost. The two came after me, and they, like, stuck to me like glue, and I was immediately dead. I was like, wow, that happened really fast. <laughs> but, uh, oh, it's so cool. Yeah, I, I love so the cool. premise that he is in just falling freeform in space. Mm -hmm. um, because you have an association with Pac-Man being in a maze before. And the characters are super cute. And really good um, looking ghosts. Like they look like Pac-Man ghosts. And it was kind of uh, kind of smart to change the Pac-Man character it's into cute. into a, I love it. a burning up in the atmosphere. Yeah, he's Just a little super comet. Cute. A little Pac-Man comet. Oh, now I'm on level two. So I gotta watch him. Yeah. No, I don't think That's I when it got really hard. I don't know. The red what? fire behind the Pac-Man is alternate alternate player O. One frame is just Pac-Man E, another just the fire. I don't quite get that, but uh -huh. someone out there will. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to read it. Yeah. Um, I think two just got so close to me too fast, and it was like boom, 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 done. Like, yeah. I just got too close. Look at, like, they move fast I'm towards you. a little bit faster than them, I think. Oh, I, they got, look how fast Whoa. they move. They go for you. Gotta stay away from them. Yeah. Maybe... It, you just have to be moving in the same direction they were the whole time. Mm -hmm. But they do seem to follow you. Yeah. Oh, careful. Ooh, I'm getting low. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they really go for you. I can't really miss one, can you? Well. <gasps> Look at him. Wow. I am. Yep, yep. Almost dead. 
Red. Oh. Oh, no, that didn't that fill didn't... your life. Oh, that was wrong, right? Uh, maybe because they were superimposed, it was a yellow and a red. Oh, my goodness, you got, like, no oh, time. Maybe. No time. Oh, no. I got it. <gasps> oh. 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 Floats up. Hmm. That's pretty... That's pretty balanced. It feels really good, and and it's easy, and then it gets hard really quick. So and not too I quick. like that. Not too quick. It's but a right progression. It's a right pro yeah. But that that's good. That red was wrong. It wasn't the red pill. So there no, was something going on. No, they were too on. superimposed on each other. So I wonder if that had they something were... to it. A yellow and because it because yeah. you you got to chase after the ghost. So yes. I think it was a yellow and a, a white. I don't know. Anyway, the red fire band Pac Man is alternate player zero. Because your character is player zero, so it's flashing back and forth. Mm. Um, I don't know if it's 50-50. One frame is just Pac-Man and his other just a fire. We'll play again. Oh. I'll reset. And good, good sound. Yeah. And it makes a sound for everything, which is great, when it fires off the missile at the bottom. Yeah, I didn't feel, like, super safe <laughs> at any time. Um, like, my bar was going down quite a bit. I needed that power pellet to rescue. And it's kind of nice that you have to not only get the power pellet, mm -hmm. you have to get all the ghosts yeah. and then the red pellet to get yep. the full, um, your bar up to full. So it's not, uh, it's, it's quite a challenge to get that. Yes, you're right, was wrong. It was because Pac-Man was red, and that was missile uh, zero. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. I was dying, and I was red. Yeah, so it kind of went so red. it was red because normally you're yellow, and it's yellow. That's why. I don't know how you're going to solve that. I don't think you can. That's okay. So he's using the ball for that character. Oh, it's because two came at once. There was two Super power. Post. Two at once. It so. looked like two mm. at once, yeah. And one was using the ball, which is using the play field. I'm guessing? But those aren't play field characters for the stars. How is he doing this? <laughs> How is he doing the, the star field? Oh, I guess. Oh, I'm guessing the star field is made up of balls. Oh, it's actually good to head for that because they all turn immediately. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if that is in the mix of the other guys, because unless you're really low in health. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, star fields are the ball. That's what I thought. And then the thing going up the screen. Oh, he's play field. Is it? Is that play field going up the screen? That's clever. I bet it is. Yeah, that must be play field going up the screen. Can you confirm that, Ricardo? Because they're going straight up the screen, so you can just do that's play field in that spot, turn it off, turn it on. And then you can use the um, collision between player zero and the play field. Bars are playfield. Da, da, da. Didn't have to look at it. Um, so, oh, that was not good. You are in danger. Oh, just in time. Ah, see, it was flashing again. It's going red. Can you go? Just in time. Now watch out. You might be able to make it. Ah, ah get it done! Oh! <laughs> so close. Nice. I keep hear hearing someone getting a, a strike. Strike? <laughs> strike? What? I don't know. Maybe it's a sound that sounds like a strike from another game, like a bowling game. Oh, maybe strike. Or or a baseball. Oh, baseball game. Yeah, <laughs> that too. I'm gonna be right back. Okay. Right back. Let's see if I can do better. I think I made it to level. Did I make it to level three? Two. Two. Only two. Try and make it to level three. Um, and Ricardo, how do the levels work? 
It doesn't seem to be based on how many times you destroy the ghosts. And it could be arbitrary score. It doesn't seem to be at like a, a 5,000 or 10,000. It seemed to be around 6,000. So just random. Ah! One more. Run away. There we go. So watch the score for when I get the flag. Let's see when it is. Ah. 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 I think if you don't get hit by the ghosts and you get every pellet, you can keep your health up. Mm. I don't think it's and worth, as you said it, <laughs> I don't think it's worth going for a pellet if it's in the middle of. Ghosts. I don't think it is, especially in the later levels oh, where they really the dive bomb you. Like yeah. it's a lot harder. They're a little bit slower, and they don't quite go af after you quite as much. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> get back here! <laughs> oh, oh, the sound goes. of you eating the ghost sounds like the strike sound effect from bowling. Weep weep. Ah, I see. It was around. 5,000? I got it. You weren't looking. You were looking oh, at the chat. 5,000. Oh, the But it was at 4,000 The flag? Something. Yes. Hmm. Give you one job to do. What job? You, you didn't I give said, me a job. I said watch the flag for what score I got. Oh, no. I didn't even hear you say that. Oh. <laughs> I didn't. I'm sure you did. Wine's kicking I up. was probably reading the chat, so sorry about that. That's okay. Yeah. Watch for the second. Oh, oh. Unless God. Ricardo answered my question about levels. Did uh, he? stars was mate. No. 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 Just keeping it a secret. Yeah, that's okay. all right then. Keep your secrets. Second flag was around thirteen hundred. Someone said. Okay. Uh, do the red ghost signal the red missile? Yes, and yes. you get your full it's health the only back. Only way they can you can get with the red, red missile. missile. Yeah. So you have to get the yellow, like you I just did. You have to get did. all the ghosts, but I think it's harder on the later levels. Like you get, you less, get time. less time. And then the red missile will be like the third. Ah! There it is. Third missile out. There you go. And then you get full Oof. health again. Yeah, and you need it. You need it. You can survive, but you have to keep up can with Can you it. repeat the question? I did not get it. Uh, the yellow triangles. Which I'm guessing Are those signifies... levels? And what scores do they come in at? Yeah, I mean, you can figure out the score by looking, but yeah, someone are they said associated it was 13. With... Yeah, are they associated with score? My English is not perfect yet. Well, You're doing pretty good. <laughs> better, better than my Portuguese. Yes. <laughs> um, oh, get away. It's hard because they dive at you faster on the higher levels. Yes. The proximity sensor it goes off much better. Don't you get it. Ah, get away. <laughs> oh my god, they're get relentless. Oh, uh, get them. Oh, oh, no, that was me. Deadly. Oh, no, I'm not going to make it to the third flag. Ah, he went right for you, too. It was like the moment <sighs> you were flashing. So it was around 1,200. Was it? Yeah. 1,200 second one came in, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Watch the first one. Can play? The ghosts yeah. keep you going. You want me to play, play again? I want to see when the first one comes in. Okay. And way to go, pushing the button to start the game. Yes. <laughs> Everything's good. I don't have to touch the uh, touch the Atari at all. Very modernized. Oh, right off the bat. Ah! And again. What is oh, going my on? Goodness. Well, it's and you missed it. On. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Why am I having trouble? I think it's because go I'm on. not sitting the way I want to. It's That's always it. annoying. I think you're definitely going to need that red pellet. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm fine. Come on, yellow pellet. Ah. Yeah, the... Very nice. Where is it? 
It's not on this Leo page. Leo Lopez 79 is now following. Oh, it's not on this page. No. no, it is at the top. I just missed it. That's where it is. Yay! Here comes the red pellet. Come to me! You get a thousand points for it, too. Oh, that's great. So, big bonus. Yeah. Levels become more difficult by the minute. Mm. You get a yellow lollipop a few seconds before. That's it, a lollipop. A lollipop. I like the lollipops. <laughs> Is that what they are? Candy lollipops? Uh, I'm good with that. 3,600. 3, you could always make it like a cherry. A cherry and a strawberry. You get points for them even ah, coming ah, out. Ah, ah. That's funny. Oh, for time. Yeah, kind of. well, yeah, kind of time. Kind of time. 39. Oh, come on, you. 4,000. So the levels are just, are timed? It's just straight up time? Not points at all? No, I, I'm... Oh. Ah, get away! It wasn't <gasps> at 4,000. It was like at 40. I missed my yellow one. No, you're dead. Ah. Unless you get every white pellet and not hit any ghosts. Like instantaneously. You're going to die if you hit any ghosts. Get away from me, ghosts. Stay, get, stay very clear of them. Yeah, you're gaining a tiny bit. No, nope. not tiny when bits. they get past me. Ah! Oh, no, I ruined it. Oh, uh, no. Terrible round. Terrible round. Yes, I know. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Oh, pill. It could be lollipops. <laughs> ah. Oh. Yeah, no, that was terrible. Very, very yeah. cool. Not points to increase levels. It's about time. Okay. So oh, okay. It's just how it is long time. you're spending yeah. in the game. That makes sense. Yep. I would do points. That's very normal. Time is very, it's very, um... No, no, it makes sense. Yeah. The reason why is because you get a ton of points when you get the special pills and you get the ghosts. Right. You want it to increase with time because it will take longer. Like, you want it to rapidly get harder. Uh, I, I actually think, I think that makes well, more it's not, sense. It's about time. The hardness is how long you play the game, not how fast you get points. So that's, yeah, but that's you fine. want it to progress, and yep. yeah, I think I so think it makes fine. sense. The time it's makes very sense. seldom used. Is time um, dictating levels? So eh, yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. No, I like that. Very very cool. Yeah, thank I you, like Ricardo. It. Um, s suggestions? I don't know. More? I like it. I like <laughs> it a lot. It's really good. It's, it's very fun and it's easy to play and um, easy to understand. Yeah. Very balanced. It is balanced. Yeah. Um, and if you like Pac-Man, you're gonna like this game. <laughs> I mean, yeah. The same aesthetics and. Watch out for the IP lawyers. Yeah. Well. <laughs> you may want to change the characters he, he, later. He doesn't look like a Pac-Man though. Oh, but it, Pac-Man's in the title of the game. True. Space Pac-Man. <laughs> um, True. But he's in Brazil. Things are different there, maybe. <laughs> Don't know. Um, yeah, I have zero suggestions. It is really well balanced. Mm. I mean, Occasional bonuses with the fruit. <laughs> Insert oh. a boss between levels. That's a cool idea. Yep. 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 Planning to certain boss. Yeah, I yep. can see that. To break it up a little mm. bit, break up, break up the gameplay. That yeah. would be very cool. So he has bigger plans, yeah. but the basics are perfect. Mm. Game balance is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Slidey mat, slithy, slithy, slidey, slithy, <laughs> slithy, very like impressive. slithery, yeah, very impressive. Yep, those ghosts are exact copies of the sprites in Pac Man, are they? Mm. Oh, they're good sprites, I like them. Yep, and the Pac Man spray is much better than the Atari 2600 Pac Man sprite, mm. it's terrible. Mm. It's like a squarish Pac Man with an eye. I love this Pac Man, slidey, slidey. So it's nice. not slithy. It's not slithery. It's not, slithy. Not Slytherin, no. no. <laughs> slithy. Uh, yes, there are copies. Slithy. Excellent. So we're going to move on to the second game. I highly recommend that one, and I'm sure we'll see more of it in the future as he puts more into the game. Thank you so much, Ricardo, for letting us debut your game. Mm -hmm. Lots of fun. So we're going to move on to... Slidey Matt's game. Nice. Who's in the chat with us? <laughs> um, there you go. So this is kind of the beginning. This is not a full game. Nice. It's just the beginnings of his game. Well, I already already like the title, so. Yes. Yeah. So let me get the actual cartridge graphics. Mm. Um, so that's the one thing I forgot to prepare. Luckily, it takes 
No time at all. Okay. Thank you, Ricardo. That was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And it could be, you could stop there and it'd be a fun game right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go for it. Load it up. So this is by Mad, Matt Hefferman. Heffernan, sorry. Heffernan, uh, Slithy Matt. First posted November 14th, 2020. His first binary was released um, or build. Uh, mm -hmm. This builds from uh, yesterday. It's a 32K F4 game. Mm -hmm. um, he has huge plans for it. I'm going to go through all the stages that he has planned. Um, uh, and this is I, maybe his first game for the 2600. I believe it is... Mm -hmm. But maybe not. I don't know of any other games. And he's new to the Atari Age forums. Mm. Um, he says, I'm working on an open source homebrew adaptation uh, of uh, Alice in Wonderland for the 2600. Yes, very first for the 2600. Very, well, it's an amazing start. Mm -hmm. um, great colors and uh, for the title screen there. Uh, I had posted my first demo on Facebook. Now I'm finally here. This is him posting in the Atari Age forums. Uh, Alice 2600 demo number two down the rabbit hole. If you have any ideas of what could go into an Alice game, please feel free to reply to this thread or come on, comment on YouTube. Um, and he also did a breakdown of how he made the game mm. of sorts on his YouTube channel. If you guys want to check it out, he did a half hour um, uh, breakdown mm. of him actually programming it as well. That's very cool. Um, That's I, really neat to see. Yeah, It is. Um, he's using a not DASM, which is like 99% of oh, assembly okay. programmers Programs, yeah. for 2600 U's. He's using like CC65. I'm very unfamiliar with it. Mm. Um, so I completely skipped over that part because I was like, I don't want to confuse myself mm. between uh, the different assembly programs like DASM. So I'm very used to looking at that. Um, so he says this is a this version. This is a minor fix to the first alpha pre-release of Sly the Games, Alice in Wonderland for the Atari 2600. This game is incomplete with only the first two levels implemented. No sound at this time. If you complete level two, falling down the rabbit hole, successfully you will go to the stub for level three, which only has a score banner and the rest of the screen is black and has no reset. So we're going to have to turn it off and back That's on again. Um... <laughs> Mm. To play, simply load Alice Bin into the Atari 2600 emulator of your choice. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Try to achieve the maximum score of 630 so far. Maximum score. Okay. Okay. So press a button. And that is the rabbit. He hops away. Oh, cute. And that's Alice with blonde hair and a blue Blue skirt. dress. Yeah. And a white top and shoes. Yeah. They're tr and some very, very nice trees done with the play field. And uh, if you jump, um, so he has got, he's using... Uh, do I jump and hit that or do I avoid it? You can, you get points for it. Oh. <laughs> he's using uh, player or missile zero for the first one. And then I love like the ball and something. He, he oh, could, down the rabbit hole. He could have used... Um, Was I supposed to do that? <laughs> yeah. Could have oh, used no. like I died? player. There we go. Player one above there because I don't think the I don't think the rabbit goes up that high. Oh gosh. Oh, yeah, I get it. I get it. And I'm did triplicate, and then it wouldn't change color because he's using assembly, so he can do that. So now you're falling down the rabbit hole. This is uh, falling down the rabbit hole. Cut, catch umbrellas to slow down the fall. Avoid furniture, tables, chairs, etc. Lose points. Catch cherries, pineapples, turkey legs, custard pie for points. Uh, or catch three pieces of a key that opens the door at the bottom to finish the level. Which, hmm. all those things are not in there yet. But, and you oh, have... I didn't catch the umbrella. Yeah. So you have to catch everything then. Um, you have to catch the umbrella. Oh. At least. Hi. Um, so the first scene, what he has planned. Chase Having some or... weird battle toads flashbacks right oh, now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, scene one, chase and keep up with the white rabbit. So he has more plan than that for the first level. Yeah. Rather than just running off the screen. Collect flying daisies by jumping up for points. Yeah. Jump over logs, rocks on the ground. Uh, bluebirds fly across the screen and slow you down, knocks you back if you hit one. This will be the game over. So you got the umbrella and slowed down and you mm -hmm. will go to level three, which is um, just the score right now. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's yep. just the first couple of... Oh, 
Oh, the gift boxes. I totally thought they were cakes. I'm like, they have to be cakes oh, with the, tags on them. They the, look like the, gift the, boxes. Like ribbons. No, but but he says the gift box cakes are bonuses. And yes, oh. Alice in Wonderland, she eats little cakes that say yeah. eat me. You know? Yes. Yeah. That's right. That is so cute. Hit it. Yeah. <laughs> it looks really good. Great start. Yes, yeah, so you have to start the level if you hit the walls. Well, that makes sense because you want to hit them all. And I love the idea um, of it's following the story of Alice in Wonderland and each level is a different part. Yeah. Of well, the falling down the rabbit hole. So you have the yeah. beginning. She's chasing after the rabbit. Yep. And then she falls down the rabbit hole. That's really oh, cute. Oh, like that. <laughs> this cat. Ready. Every time. Just, he's Look. like, oh, there's a warm spot right here. Can you move you didn't possibly want to sit here. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Oh, put you on my lap. He's still purring, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So for level one, uh, he says these are just ideas that other mm. people have given and he's given. Uh, chase, keep up with the white, right rabbit. Uh, collect flying daisies uh, by jumping up for points. Mm -hmm. uh, jump over logs, rocks on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, bluebirds fly across the screen and slow, slow you down and knocks you back if you hit. So it'll be more of a game of chasing the rabbit. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, the rabbit runs faster than you can move. Well, yeah, the idea is you... Yeah, you just have to. You can't go back. You can only go forward right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. But great animation of her jumping and walking. Mm -hmm. She's cute, too, yeah. by the way. So those are. Very cute. What are those supposed to be right well, now? Well, you get points for them, so. So to ba play a perfect game, you have to get all three of these. And probably all the. all the, Hi. And yeah. all the stuff in the all next. The gift boxes. Screen. Yeah, and then the umbrella. You won't be able to catch the rabbit no matter what, of course. Yes, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Because yeah. that's he not in the story. Fast. And then without dying, yep. you have to get everything. You just have to dodge in and out really quick. Yeah. It's not too bad. Maybe some obstacles. Yeah. Yeah. So he's planning a lot of falling objects for this uh, mm -hmm. part of the game. Or objects coming up at you. Hi. Yeah. This cat yeah. is very cute. Well, they should be falling too, I'm sure. Yeah. There you go. Good job. Perfect score. 430? No. Um, you get 200 for, uh, 630 is the perfect score. There, yay, perfect score. Maximum score. So the next scene after this, underwater Alice in a bottle. These are just ideas. He says nice. these are not for sure. Yeah. Uh, float around collecting clams for points. I don't think that's in the book. Is it? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. remember her being underwater. But there's got to be an underwater level. <laughs> it's required yes. in every video game. She could be floating in a cup of tea. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, collect so many bubbles to get to the surface. Avoid fish, lobsters, and sh starfish. Scene four. Caterpillar on a mushroom blows letters and mushrooms for points. Mm. Nice. Avoid getting hit by smoke ghosts and crocodiles. Time to vent. Nice. Scene five. Cheshire Cat floats around the screen as you try and catch him. Oh, kitty level. Yeah. Floating you around. You've got to have a cat level somewhere. Each time you yes. catch him, he gives you points. Nice. Uh, scene six. The Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Mm. Mad Hatter throws items at you. Catch the white rabbits, watch watch parts for points. Avoid lose points for getting hit with teapots and teacups. Bonus points for catching a birthday cake. Mm. Scene seven, the queen's hedge maze. In a hedge maze, you run around and turn all the white roses red by walking over them as they appear on the screen. Avoid red card soldiers. Lose points every time you bump them. Mm. Red card soldiers disappear after being hit. Uh, scene eight, croquet with the queen. Play as the balls hit by the queen or Alice. Mm. The queen hits the green ball. Ball must go through, uh, under or through the card soldiers for points. Alice hits the pink ball. Must Ball must avoid going under uh, through the card soldiers for points. Cheshire Cat pops in. Hit him for bonus points. Scene 9, escape the queen. Similar to scene first screen. Run from the queen while avoiding Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Nice. Lose points if they hit you. Touch daisies to build up speed until you outrun the queen. You or she disappears off the screen. Nice. And the ending scene, Alice wakes up. Yes. Very nice. Ricardo's Great gone, ideas. so good night, Ricardo. Good, good night, Have a Ricardo. good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's late in Brazil. It is, yes. Um, great ideas. I'm looking forward to uh, you making yeah. more levels of this game. Well, and I do love Alice in Wonderland. Great, so. great look, great design. Um, Alice in Wonderland is copyright free i believe at, <laughs> at this point it's old enough lewis carroll yeah, yeah lewis carroll yeah. long dead over 90 years mm -hmm. i think i don't know a long time 
It has to be over nine. I years. read his books. I read the. I read. I had a had a version of it as a yeah. child, and I loved the book. And then, of course, there's the Disney movie, but the book's amazing. Yes. Um, so we're going to go on to the third game, which is mm. Go Sub 2 by Chris Reed, Atari 2600 Land. Um, first posted, um, those dates are very wrong. I think that's supposed to be 2007. Mm. Uh, I put 2017, as I normally do. Um, it's an 8K game. He's made a ton of games. I've said them before many, many times. I'm not going to say them again. <laughs> this, you can download this in the Atari Age forums. Um, this game he made, he made Go Sub 1 first. Okay. So this is the sequel. It's very similar to Go Sub 1. Mm. Um, there's some additions to it. Mm. Uh, we've never played Go Sub 1. Uh, and I just ran across this. I'm like, oh, we've never played this game. It's got a million games. Um, so he made, uh, Go Sub for the 2600 in 2007. Um, and then he made a version for the Odyssey 2, um, in 2012. Um... Actually, here's the graphics for the game. Uh, not the graphics, but the um, the box for the release of this game. Okay. Really nice. I love the tentacles. Yes. The little submarine. Very nice, yeah. And uh, you can see the little... Yeah, the cartridge art is really nice. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really good. Yeah. So, really nice. Um so we're going to take a look at the Odyssey 2 version of this game. Let's see. It's very zoomed in. Um, it looks very similar to the 2600, as you'll see. Hmm. So it's basically a maze, dodge the baddies. Ah, uh, right away. Oops. Nobody can see. Um, so you're the sub, and, uh, oh, and they didn't see the... Mm, I see. They didn't see that last graphic, too. Um, so you're the sub, you have to get through the mazes to get the treasure, um, mm -hmm. but you can also shoot the uh, octopus. I don't know if it's shown him shooting in this. Mm. Or is this the first one? No, this is the first one where you mm. can't shoot the octopus. So I'm going to show you the graphics because I missed follows, showing yeah. the graphics there. Hmm. Um, there you go. There's the graphics with the tentacles hmm. and the cartridge. Very nice. I'm just going to load up the graphics as well for the game. Well, I have this on here. Go sub. And um, thank you so much to Scott Dayton for sending me over the graphics um, f uh, for the cover art nice. for the um, for the cartridge because I did not have that, um, and I've now updated that. Okay, and then he made an Intellivision version of mm. GoSub. He makes uh, games for many systems as well. Mm. Uh, That's exciting. So let's take a look at the Intellivision version of it. Kind of cuts off some of it, but you get the idea. Oh, you can shoot in this one. Mm. So this is Go Sub 2, where you can shoot. So pretty good graphics for television in this one. Nice. Uh, Captain Classic says, I remember the same game with the Octopus, but that was a game of Watchport. Mm. Oh, yeah, I do I have Octopus? No, but I, I have seen that game in Watch, where you have to get the treasure, but you're a diver in that one. Oh, called yes. Octopus. Yeah. Oh, I don't have octopus, do I? No. 
I don't, I don't really like that. It's too simple of a game to watch. Most are really simple, but that one's really simple. You're just like, treasure, avoid the arms. That is it. Yeah. That's yeah. all there is to that game. Um, and then he made Ghost Up 2 for the Odyssey as well. I think that's the other YouTube. Oh, they're you can wrap running? around. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, they're both running. That's Are they? <laughs> I'm like, what's we'll going pretend. on? There's actually narration over this one oh. that I, did, I don't want to put on. So that's so funny. We'll just have the music from the other one. Okay. Nice. So, fun, simple, mazy game with an enemy in it. Um... I'm back. Eat Thanksgiving leftover dinners. No sound? No sound for you. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving to all the Americans. That, yes. was, that was what, Thursday? Thursday. Yesterday, yep. yep. And it's Black Friday today. Yep. So, everybody can... Happy Thanksgiving. We had ours home. about a month before, but that's, you know, it's all good. Yeah, we have it, <laughs> we have it at a different time. We're colder. Our harvest is a lot earlier. Yes, <laughs> that's right. We have to have it much earlier. So yes. You can load that up. Excellent. Oh, wait, I'm going to turn off the sound that's coming through. What is going on there? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Just close it. Close it. And it's done right when I finish it. Funny. Very okay. funny. What is the harvest holiday called in Canada? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. It's, we just copied <laughs> it's you just or you copied earlier. us or somebody copied somebody. <laughs> well, you probably cop copied you. Yeah. That's more likely. So it's like a truncated version of Indian Navy. <laughs> Just has part part of it. Doesn't have da 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 da. It's like the it's the main speaking line in the Navy. Yeah, it's it's not the chorus part, yeah, right? That is hilarious. Um so more treasure! After hearing about more treasure off a nearby coast, you hop in your trusty submarine and take off. The treasures are still located in caverns, so you'll have to be careful. In 25 levels oh. of undersea action, don't touch the walls. Yeah. Um, and you continuously move once yeah, you start moving. Yeah, you do. Oh my goodness. So that makes it a little bit challenging. It does, but that's more interesting. You can shoot the octopus. Don't touch the octopus. Yeah, but can you go back and forth? Oh, you can. Yeah, you can move any direction you want. But you, you have to continually move. Well, is it go sub two or go sub two? Well, it's on the cartridge art it says go sub two i i was on the on the manual was it an i i hmm interesting ah oh, an so good <laughs> oh, oh my god trying to cut corners oh, god. <laughs> oh my goodness <gasps> they should consider it go sub multi-cart Oh, yeah, it says two on there, but on the cartridge it says I, I. Got to keep it consistent. I think somebody else did the artwork. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> on the cartridge and didn't uh, didn't consult. Ooh, you can shoot it. Yeah, but it's... Ah! <laughs> Panic mode. Um, you seem to have detracted uh, the attention of one of the local denizens. A giant octopus pursues you from level to level. Your weapons are way too small to kill the octopus, but it will drive him off for a short while. Can you make your way to safety, or will you find your final resting place Ugh. under the sea? Um, so there are options here. You can play it with the octopus or without it. Obviously, with it is a lot more fun. Um, right difficulty has a sonar ping. Hmm. And we don't have it on. I wonder what it sounds like. I guess it's... Oh, getting in front of me there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, sonar ping. I guess he made it default off because it's loud. <laughs> we may turn it off. 
because it doesn't indicate anything. If it indicated that how close you were to the treasure or something like that, that would be good. Or close proximity to the octopus, that would be good. Because that would increase the intensity of it. It would go ding, mm. ding, 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 ding. But I mean, sonar is a sweep of... The old one oh. was like a circular sweep. Yeah. And any time some, it recognized something, it went ding, right? Yeah. Or was it a ding every round? Uh, I think it was a ding every round. I really don't know how sonar... I mean, I know how it works, but I, I've I never used it. Portrayed as in movies. On That's, TV, yeah. exactly. So I'm not assuming accuracy. USA didn't celebrate Thanksgiving until after the Civil War of the 1860s. Interesting. So it was a made-up. Mm, made-up holiday. Basically Valentine's Day. You want to try? Yes. Okay. She made it to level three. Oh, yeah. Terrible. Terrible. Um, yeah. So should we turn it's off basic. the ping or keep it going? I mean, harvest holidays exist in pretty Everywhere. much all cultures. So the fact that someone decided to call it Thanksgiving and give it a story is... Yeah. Backstory. Yeah. And involve the pilgrims. What? Terrible. Do get points for shooting the octopus. Mm. But since this is a game that has an end. I don't care about points. No, you want to get to the end. <laughs> this, normally I hate mazes. Hate, hate, hate. But this is a maze not to just be a maze. Like to, oh, you have to memorize the maze. You don't need to memorize this maze. It's more about navigating your way through the maze and avoiding something in the maze. So the maze itself mm. being there isn't the issue. Um, so I don't mind a maze in this format. Mm. Uh, Thanksgiving wasn't made up. It just wasn't an official holiday. The oh. pilgrims did have a big harvest festival that they shared with the local Indians after bountiful harvest season. But my point is, harvest celebrations ah. are a thing everywhere. Yes. So so attributing a story to it is fine. It's not that it's that didn't happen. But it's more about... Oh, fucker. The harvest festival. Yes. Yeah. In a lot of ways. Else. Than anything else, yeah. I think I gained a life. I don't know. I swear I went down to one. Yeah, because it's it's dark, And certainly it's we dreary, call it we call it Thanksgiving, cold. but we don't involve any stories of pilgrims. Is is what I'm saying in Canada. It's just essentially what we call our uh, our feast. What would be our harvest festival, I guess. Ooh, it's close. Yep. Do -do -do -do. It wasn't made up. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, yeah. what 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 makes something a festival or a celebration is is usually a little vague. So. <laughs> yes. Don't get me started on Christmas. So. <laughs> there we go. Does it always appear on the left? Yes, which is good. So it's good to kind yeah. of shoot it if you can, because then it bumps it back to where you start. Yeah. Yeah. Captain Classic, now we're talking about holidays. Yep, all groups seem to have harvest festivals, kind of like how an Easter changed over the years. Easter used to be a pagan holiday that celebrated yeah. fertility spring, and and that's also why a lot of people believe Christmas is in December, is because it coincides with the winter solstice. Yeah. Not strictly necessarily when the people think... Um, uh, Jesus Christ was born because there's a belief that actually it was later than than right. December, but it was co-opted with the the winter solstice. Yeah. But anyway, dangerously close to religious. I know. Sorry, I just not. It wasn't my intention to <laughs> go down that path. Anyway, I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 get. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Up just a bit too far, trying to avoid him. It's the sentiment more than it is the actual day that matters. Yes. Yeah. I think. Here we go. 
<laughs> Here we go. It's more about having something to do when it's cold and dark. <laughs> And because there's well, not a lot to do, and there think, and there is religious symbolism. That's, there's yeah, nothing not saying. About that. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about just the co- the coincidence of the of, lots of, of holidays things happening. and solstices. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. It really doesn't. Well, I did get our extra life. It's all about eating the turkey. <laughs> no. Or the non-turkey if you're a vegetarian. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's the food. We did, however, land on the moon. Yes. We did. <laughs> Everybody in agreement here. Yeah. Fuck yeah. All right. Good. 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 We are not here for conspiracy we theories. We can all agree yeah. on the moon. <laughs> Hooray for the moon. Uh, I'm really not trying to cause controversy. That's not my not my purpose today. My purpose not is today. to play a man. Not Watch today. Out. Not today. Um, Other days, maybe. It's to play Atari Twenty Six Hundred Homebrew. That's right. Level nine. Oh, I got a life back. Good. I don't know. I think you get one every level. You seem to get them back pretty easy, mm-hmm. which is good because that guy he seems to be going random. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he's like tending towards me, but it seems a lot Sometimes more random. Sometimes he seems like he is, but then he seems oh to be Oh my god, what did I miss? Hey, D train. Uh, we're on our third game. So. <laughs> Esther Ramirez, just kidding. We can keep it light. No, that's just fine. Keep it light. <laughs> so, what's your favorite TV show? Oh my, no. And what's your favorite episode of Friends? And episode and Twitch explodes. No. <laughs> um, yeah. There we go. We watched. We saw Erlen the other day. We haven't seen him in a while. Yep. And we watched Taxi Driver. Yes, in the theater. In the theater before they closed our theaters. Yeah, now they're uh, closed. And they only allowed fifty people in the theaters anyway. Out of four twenty. At four hundred fifty or something like that. Is it four twenty? Mm. Because they're clever like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we have a very cool theater. We have a very cool theater. Very independent, cool theater. Um. So it was very uh, spread out, every second row, and then on the rows, it was spread out when you're yeah. in the rows itself. Yeah. Like, it's four people, then a big space, then four people, actually three sometimes. Three. Three, big space, three, big yeah. space. It yeah. was it was quite, um, I felt more comfortable there than a lot of other public spaces. And even spaces. a restaurant. Even yeah. in a restaurant, yeah, you're much closer to people. So I feel really bad that they've forced them to, cl- to close it here now. They're very upset. They put a swear word on their billboard. They did. <laughs> kind of. Kind of, yeah. Oh. Ooh. They replaced the U with a V, but uh, very, very everyone knew what they were saying. So, yeah, anyway. Very Roman. Very Roman. <laughs> yes. Um, but it was good to see Erlen, and uh, it was good to watch... Um, Taxi Let's driver go. and see it in the theater, which I've never done before. And yeah. we notice things yes. watching it in the theater that we've never noticed it watching it on TV. And it just goes to show you. We even went home and made sure we didn't see a special cut of it. Yeah. Which we didn't. Because the extra detail you see on a big screen, like, you miss when you watch it on TV. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So uh, it was pretty cool. Do you guys have a subway in, uh, there in Vancouver? We have what we call the Sky Train, which is essentially a monorail. 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 <laughs> um, it's above ground. It does. But it does go no, underground in places. Underground. In, places, in places, but it's above ground and mostly above mostly ground. above ground. So it's a sky train. It's a sky train. So uh, but yes, it is essentially. Ah, the same. get. Yeah. Oh my god, get out of here. As for mirrors, I still need to see Taxi Driver. Oh my god, it's so good. Beautiful, brilliant, disturbing. The, shockingly feels shockingly relevant it's about new, it's, <laughs> it's about new york city in the 70s 80s and things kind of being really rough and dark terrible and, and terrible and some and a person basically rat becoming a radical like rad, radicalizing yeah. themselves which again feels mm, relevant. bizarrely relevant in today's day and age um it's close but it's a beautiful film too it's yeah. really beautifully shot martin scorsese so and harvey prime. keitel's in it yep. i mean really Exactly. Harvey Keitel's in it. He's amazing. Yeah. Um, I digress. But uh, that's the Shelbyville kind of place. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, Our is <monorail's> awesome. <laughs> Arena Foot, we have Subway restaurants here too, Lol. <laughs> okay. 
Everywhere. The subways. real the real subways are in Toronto and Montreal, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Last Vancouver's life. public transit is pretty new, relatively. Ten more levels. Yeah. It is. It's eighty six. Yeah. That's when we got it. Yeah. We had buses before that. Just buses. You got it during Expo eighty six, actually. Yep, you did. Yeah. That's when you build big infrastructure. When the world <laughs> is coming to you. Yeah. During Olympics and Expos. Who eats Subway when po boys are easily accessible? Agreed. Uh, Subway. It's <laughs> the worst smelling restaurant in existence. Yeah, the the the, the, the bread is like... the most industrial processed bread. I still kind of like, like Subway bleach though. When you walk in, it does and smell it's like bread. bleach. It's the bread. <laughs> it's not them cleaning; it's the bread that smells. I don't want to. Like I don't want to bag on Subway too much because no, I don't really bad. hate Subway. It's not the it's worst place in the fine. world to eat at, but um, the bread is a little denominator. lowest common denominator. It's like, uh, is there anything else? No, Subway in this small town. Yeah. As we drive through it. Yeah. No. Oh, I got two lives. That I was yeah. over. Maybe a timer oxygen meter. That would be very cool. Yes. Uh, yeah. This is an old old game. Yeah. It's not going to be adding anything, but. Yeah, so you can't mess around too much, right? So you're not delaying. Which forces you to take oh, take risks. My last life. Damn it. I was hoping French I could... bread, much better than Subway bread, yes. Ooh, Subway bread. <laughs> it's the worst. Like, their veggies are fine. Uh, D-Train. Like... I actually enjoy Subway, but man, I could go for a roast beef po' boy and a Dr. Pepper. Isn't a po' boy, doesn't it have oysters in it? Uh, Am I right about by, that? By default? Yeah. Oh, you get Oysters? two subs every level. Something like that. I've never had one. So. No, neither have I. I'll save it for when I... Well, you wouldn't eat it anyway. It's got meat. Well, but, by um, default, like you can't get yeah, it without no, meat? No, no. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they can have anything. Okay, so it's more just this Veggies style. It it's is. the style of... Um, they're hot dogs? Oh. Are you are you pulling my leg? <laughs> French fries? <laughs> <laughs> I always thought they had oysters in them. I don't know why. Or, or seafood. Maybe it was one that was a special one. Shrimp. Oysters. I thought oysters. I don't know. I don't know. Come on, come on. Dr. Pepper is the best. James. You still drink a lot of Dr. Pepper. Huh? You used to drink a lot of Dr. You, Pepper. You did whole shows around Dr. <laughs> Pepper. Pepper. You yes. would do these old radio streaming shows. radio shows for what? Like 24 hours or whatever. <laughs> right. And you just bring in a flat of Dr. Pepper and drink Dr. You Pepper all the night. filled the fridge once. Filled the fridge. And did you drink it all? Uh, no, it lasted a long time. But you, how many people were on that, were, were, were there? During that stream, it was about 20 total. 20 people, so. Yeah, over 24 hours. Yeah. Ooh, this has oh, alternate routes. Oh, you've got a couple of options. Well, I'll take the shortest one. Yeah, traditionally roast beef or fried seafood. Okay. Oh, okay. That's so it is. The seafood the, so I wasn't sure about the roast beef, but I thought the seafood. I've heard of the seafood po' boys before. It's a very easy 19th level. Mm. Dr. Pepper is good stuff, though. It's pretty good. Yeah. What? Yes. Tanya ruined what? a pop for me. What pop did I ruin? You ruined... What, what did I ruin? Root beer. Oh, yeah, because it tastes like toothpaste. <laughs> then I'm like, you're right, it does taste <laughs> like toothpaste. You can't drink like root beer anymore. Wintergreen or whatever. It's wintergreen, it tastes like toothpaste. I've never liked I've never <laughs> liked root beer. I'm like it just tastes like toothpaste. Ruined it. Oh, this one's glitchy. We say pop, we say yeah. we say pop. Yep, we say pop. We don't say soda. Soda's no. an American thing. Pop is very Canadian, it's, I think. No, it's no? regional. It is it's regional. Just things, different things are regional. That's true. Some people say the South says Coke. <laughs> well, no, but I mean if you're talking in Canada. Yeah. We don't it's say Western. soda. We usually we I grew pop. up saying pop. Yeah. Some barks. It all tastes like toothpaste to me. But it all does. Yeah. More or less. I'm a pepper. Wouldn't you like a pepper too? Yes. Coke. Ah! Ah! ah. Soda. 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 You want a soda? <laughs> Would you like a soda? We live in a soda pop region. <laughs> soda pop. Sody pop? Sody pop. I love looking at those maps. Oh, of, of, yeah, variations in people's... Like, uh, what did they say it's here? It's a little jittery, eh? Yeah, this level's a bit... It is a bit jittery. Bit much. Oh, it is jittery. It's going... Woo! Yeah. I do like the idea of a timer, though. I think that actually is a really good idea. It's hard enough, but yeah, yeah you could put a timer in there. Yeah. Barks founded in Biloxi, Mississippi. Oh, nice. Made it in my last life. Three more levels. 
Yeah, more his knives. command. <laughs> I like root beer too, but now you mention it, toothpaste. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, ruining for more people, spreading the, the virus. I um, my father abhors wintergreen, <laughs> and he was the one who was always just disgusted by root beer because it tasted like white, like wintergreen. So that's where I get the toothpaste from. Ah. Yeah. He would always be like, yeah, it tastes like toothpaste. And the moment someone says it, it's really hard to get it out of your head. So Get out of there! Yeah. Yeah, it is. You'll never taste it the same again. <laughs> she ruined it for me. Not me, my dad. Blame him. Well, Blame your father-in-law. <laughs> yeah. Um, there we go. Jeez. We were watching something the other day. Or was it on Reddit? Talking about... Um, the other thing my father hates is Brussels sprouts. Oh, yeah. Talking about um, controversial um, items, drinks, foods. God! Um, and, uh, it's following me on this one for sure. Man. Yeah. It was so jittery, too. Um, <gasps> ah, it's over! Oh, no! Level 22. Anyway, we were reading something saying that because of breeding... The Brussels sprouts of the 80s and 90s, oh, previous 80s and earlier, yeah. taste very different than they do today. And in fact, my father will eat Brussels sprouts now. And he didn't before. And he didn't before. And that's crazy, but it makes sense because I didn't I like them either. Innocent. Yeah. I'll have to revisit this game. And... Can you Twitch channel things my father hates? <laughs> <laughs> another thing my father and hates. And another thing. <laughs> it's just funny. I don't know. But that's where the toothpaste, the root beer toothpaste yeah. comes from. Yeah. Very, uh, yeah. very fun game. Very simple game. It's just two sprites and a play field. Don't touch anything. Yeah, and I you love can it. Shoot it. It's just nice. It's 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 simplistic. It's fun to play. Yeah. Oh, it's D Train's good stuff. set to watch it, so you can start your own channel. Yes. <laughs> every, every show is dedicated to something her father. My hates. father hates. What is it? What else does my father hate? There's. <laughs> I think I might have gone through it all. He's not a very hateful person, but there are a few foods he just absolutely <laughs> finds disgusting, and I think I've covered them: Seriously? Brussels sprouts and wintergreen. So. Okay. Oh, yeah, we'll use the actual cartridge. Yeah. So we're going to play Star Master now. All right. And try and get the patch. <laughs> um, things my father hates These would be great. great. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't think her father would be very happy about a show, <laughs> a show called Things My Father You know hates. what? He would probably be on it. Yeah. So <laughs> he would probably enjoy it. It's going to work? Probably not. Usually does. <laughs> need a t-shirt to go with it um he would be on it troubles well it's been sitting in a plastic bin for a while so it hasn't been played in 30 years yeah so, so what it, okay sodas i drink only sprite root beer and lemonade success caffeine free occasionally drink coke or pepsi but not always and then someone said i drink cream soda okay so, Shasta, I haven't even heard of. I don't even know what that is. Never heard of Shasta. Clean it, Arena Foot says. It's, it's like very popular in South America. Shasta. I mm. believe. No, that's Fanta. Fanta you're thinking of. Yeah, I have heard of Shasta as well. So, it's not a mountain. in Canada, Shasta. we have Crush. Orange Crush, Grape Crush, whatever. Um, and way back when when i was young and i had a boyfriend who was from <gasps> i know i know it's shocking uh who is from newfoundland and in newfoundland oh john drill is rating with a party of five Yay! welcome 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 everybody from john <laughs> drill's channel yes we are playing activision star master and yes. trying to get trying to get the patch for it yeah anyway they have pineapple crush which tastes amazing, by the way. And if you've ever had, like, pineapple soda in the Caribbean, I remember having it, like, in Jamaica or somewhere. But Pineapple Crush, you can only get it in Newfoundland. It's something oh, yes. for sure and they would enjoy there. I don't know. But Pineapple Crush, Crush awesome. Okay. Uh, this game uses a color black and white switch. Okay. So you need to be on the floor. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. What is it? Assume the position. Yep. <laughs> this is called true Atari 2600-ing. 
where you have your friend hitting the reset button. Yep. Hello. <laughs> You're in no cat cam? Am I in cat cam? I'm in cat cam. Anyway, we can still talk about... Uh, Okay. Big uh, Shop Pineapple made in New Orleans is awesome too. Yes, Pineapple Crush, Newfoundland. Yeah, I'm sure you can get it in other places, but it's pretty amazing. Orange Pop and Fruit Punch. Can you make sure they're both in set to B? You got a co-pilot. <laughs> can you set them to B, both of them? If they're not, I think I'm on hard. One was not on B, one was on A. Great uh. difficulty was on A. Uh, I need to start need this reset? over. I'm, I'm going to read some things first, yeah. Do you want me to read things while you're Yeah, uh, reset. Okay, Star Master. Trying to get the patch. Um, so we're going to try for the first level of Star Master, and which I need to get uh, 3,800 points. Um, the base score is set at the start of the mission with 3,100 <laughs> points. Yeah, I can see you. Hi, Flackets. <laughs> You're about the same size as me, almost. Am I? Yeah. I guess so. Just from a different perspective. Yeah. Ten, you can. <laughs> um, so there's there's a formula for what I have to do. Um, any mission evaluation which exceed, meets or exceeds the standard set below qualifies you to be inducted into the Order of the Supreme Star Master. So my score at the end of the game is to get 3,800 points on this level. Um, the world records is 3,971 points out of a maximum of 4,000. Um, so I'm gonna get the manual open for you and you can read as we go. Mm -hmm. I'll get it loaded and then we will play. Why are we here? Before they sold the last Barks, Baton Rouge to Coke, the local Barks made a Barks Gold Yellow Cream Soda. I really don't like cream soda. Wow. Okay, I reset. Don't mind it. I did. Oh, it restarted. It's, okay, switch, black and white. I have to move sectors quickly. What? Losing score, black and white, second one from the left. It is on black and white. No, you have to switch it. There we go. And then I warp. Okay, that's it. You just switch when I tell you. That's okay. All. <laughs> Switch what I tell you. All ah. right. So, so when you warp, you have to avoid um, things in your way. Um, which I have. Okay. Sh should I read this while you play? Um. Yes. I I'll actually explain a little bit, but okay. here. You can do that first. So I warp to a sector where there's three guys in it. That's two down. Every time you fire, you lose energy. Mm. So you don't want to lose too much energy. And they also fire things at you. Is that it? Green. So it's clear. Now switch the black and white switch. You only have to do it once. Be careful not to touch anything else. I know, I know. <laughs> and yeah, then I'm going to go to... I guess that one. It's closest to me. What I do in this screen is just point down to the left, up to the right, and I... I remember playing it back in the 80s, early 80s, that you never get hit when uh, when you do that. It always avoids every single asteroid. Maybe in the harder levels you can't do that. Oh, did I hit it? Smack these smacks. Well, I think you, I just red. Okay, then the sector. Switch. Must have accidentally hit the... This uh, is the TV type, be right? Be very careful, you're flickering it. Okay, there you go. Yep, TV type. You were just touching it and it was flickering. I know it was, it's crazy. <laughs> ah, now you've distracted me and I got hit. I have to go back to my ship soon. Okay, read it out and I'll just play. Alright, you tell me... You have to be loud. You tell me black and white or game reset because I'm not looking at you, I'm reading, so... Yep. Okay. We'll get that set. <laughs> you are alone in space. A critical and difficult mission awaits you. Carefully read these instructions and commit them to memory. Then study the power of Star Master. Okay, it will help switch. Switch reset. Not never reset. Don't. Tell me what you want me to do. Just I'm just gonna say switch. Just say black and white. Black and white. Black and white. I know what that is. <laughs> just easier to say switch. They're all switches. There's six switches. It's a six switch twenty six hundred. <laughs> just say black and white. 
Engage. <laughs> Engage. Engage number one. I'm not paying attention. I don't even know how this game plays because I'm, I'm trying to read this seven. <laughs> okay, black and white switch, please. <laughs> uh, how can I read and do this at the same time? It's so funny. Problem is, Tandy's not wearing a Star Trek. Trek uniform. Get yeah. on your red shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to separate you two? No, we're separated. <laughs> yeah. I'm by the different 2600. Camera. He's on the couch. <laughs> Completely different camera. Okay, read. Okay, switch. <laughs> read. Okay, switch. Yeah, no. You're so funny. <laughs> you have to talk pretty loud, too. Far away from the mic. And then perhaps someday you can attain the level of Supreme Star Master. Okay, the pilot briefing. You must protect your star bases by destroying all invading enemy starfighters before they... Okay, switch. Oh, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, sorry. Okay, game over. Wait, wait, don't touch anything! Get your hand off of it. Get your hand off of it. <laughs> so what was my score? 7863. No, that doesn't make any sense. That's too high. Can I see the manual? <laughs> Patch achieved, Captain Classic says. Really? That was it? This is basically a two-player game. It <laughs> is when your Atari is far from where you're playing. Yeah. No, that's... Maximum I'm supposed to be able to get is 4,000. Mm -hmm. Now that's energy. How do you f figure out the score? Oh, switch it over to the galactic map. Yeah. yeah. Black and white? Yeah. E? There's two E's. Is it E? The first E? I guess it is the first E because the the so score okay. I need is thirty eight hundred, and I got thirty eight forty four. So you've got it already. <laughs> patch. <laughs> Woohoo! Get the patch, Sash. Okay. That was easy. Jeez. Top E is your score. Yep. Wow. Patch, Sash. Woo. Turn off the lights. Jeez. Careful. I didn't even get to finish my glass of wine. Turn it on. Then we're going to go for level two, because that was too easy. Flashy. There we, go. there we go. Thank you so much. It is an honor to wear this sash once again. <laughs> too easy. Oh, there's your spider fighter there. No, not my spider fighter. That was hard to get. Yeah, there you go. Oh, this one's coming out too. Yeah, make sure. What the heck? I just want to get a drink and you're done. We're going to play, le <laughs> we're we're gonna gonna play, play level again. two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have, you just, stay I have to stay here. That's okay. My wine comes with me, so. Okay. <sighs> so I have to get 5,700 on this one. So. 57? Yes. Okay. So you can reset now. And actually game select switch. Second from the right. Yep. Should go to two. Game select? Press it. Press it again. Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, oh, the E and L. So we wanted an L for leader. There we go. Okay. Now reset. Okay. Uh, switch, please. Switch? Just, Black and white? Just that switch. It's going to be quite an event if I tell you to do a different switch. When you are a pro home, home, home brew player, it looks easy. Ha ha. Yes. <laughs> Game two, 17 enemies, one and a half times faster, max score, 6,000. There you go. Cannot refuel more than two times. Really, in this one? Mm. Oh, I think I refueled once. Okay, switch. It says switch. black and white, but you... No, just, it's too not, long. It's not absorbing. It's too long. Black and white's too long. Just switch. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. I was practicing. Making fun of you. <laughs> Reset. <laughs> no, not reset. <laughs> Did I 
get hit? No. Caffeine Man 2D, 2D, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> Where's the dude? Is that him? Did I get him? How many were here on this? There are three? Yay, switch! Um, go with that one. There's one. Oop, saw him. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was mean. Switch, please. Rage reset! I did not. I did not rage reset. <laughs> I played the first game and I won. The patch. It's an easy patch then. Got on my first try. This one, maybe not so much. Ah! Radar! Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know if that affects anything on this level. I think it might be just the main thing. I won't be able to see where ships are. Which is a huge problem, which means I have to go refueling. I'm going to say the pilot briefing. You must protect your star bases by destroying all invading enemy starfighters before they destroy you or your star bases. You must accomplish your mission quickly using the least amount of energy sustaining the least damage. Succeed and you will be rewarded. Fail and you will be destroyed. The destiny of the galaxy is in your hands. Uh, comments on this versus Star Raiders. I remember Star Raiders being a lot more complex and you needed the pad, touch pad as well. If I remember, they're very similar. Like, really, really similar. Okay, switch. I'm refueled and... Who mentioned Crystal Crystal Pepsi in there? <laughs> Did somebody mention it? Yeah, the D-Train, yeah. <laughs> James Sandy, are you watching Star Trek Discovery? No. no, but we do watch Red Letter Media's um, <laughs> Folk, debrief of, of Star Trek. It's almost Trek. like watching it. Yes, it is. <laughs> they uh, do very oh. full commentary on it. I, I love The Next Generation and Deep Space Nine. Okay, switch. Nine to a certain extent. But the newer one has not appealed to me really. It's like the ethos of The Next Generation. It was Me's more right. about... Uh, it was more story based than it was about action, and they're they're action based uh, TV shows now. So sorry, I if you if you like the show, we haven't really watched it, so we can't Ooh, really. Oh, that was comment. good. Switch. That was a good one. No, we can't comment on that. Voyager is my fave. Yeah, Voyager was good. I didn't watch a ton of it, but the Next Generation is kind of classic, and I watched it when I was in my teens. So yeah, I have good me memories of watching TNG. Is more about ethical debates and, and morals and uh, quandaries okay. and paradoxes. So, and yeah, and I loved I all love that, that stuff. Yeah, um, Cafe Man 2D related. I've been re binging TNG with my son in season four now. Pretty good, still holds up. I would love to rewatch them actually. It's been a long time since I've watched a lot of those shows. Wesley. <laughs> Shock Wesley. Well, and and it's funny because at the time. I kind of looked down on it, and yet it played at like 6 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m. every night on a local station uh, in uh, okay, syndication. Switch. And I, I, I'm positive I've seen every single episode. Yeah, you recognize all the ones oh, yeah. that they talk about? Yeah, I do, and they're great. They're great uh, shows. <laughs> Discovery is awful, but seeing the ships in Star Master made me want to make a joke about detachable nacelles. I don't know what that is, but anyway. I'm doing a watch of TNG. Yeah, I, w I really want to okay, go back switch. and watch it. I think I'm doing pretty good. I think you are. We'll have to refuel at some point, maybe. Doing pretty good. How low do you get before you have to... Oh, zero. Oh, I see. Well, that would be death? Yep. You just burn out. You're dead. 
How do you ref refuel? You have to go to a ship. I have refueled once, but because my radar was dead. Oh. And you can't you can't play with that radar. Oh. Okay, switch. Mm. Oh, last bunch. And I think I can do it without refueling. Yeah, there are watch guides of TNG, so you can safely skip some of the crappier episodes, yeah. Uh, TNG, better than Deep Space Nine, yeah. But I remember watching D Deep Space Nine and really enjoying some of the episodes of it. Like, I'm not saying that they were all great, but some of them I really enjoyed watching. Wow. I haven't watched them in so long. Ooh, well, I'm running low on energy. Yeah. I think I can do it. Can you refuel? How do you refuel? Oof, almost. All I have to do is hit this guy. Got 12 shots left. Done! <gasps> Good job. For sure, I've got the patch there. That was a really clean run. Really clean. Pretty good, huh? Okay, switch over. See what it says. Not reset. Same button you've been doing. Yep. What's what's the score in you? Oh, I don't think I did. No, you have to hit six. That's your max score. I don't think I made it. Just watch season three finale. Remember Lacutus of Borg. Six. Vaguely. Eight, six. Two patches. No, I didn't. No? You win patch oh. level three. Oh, no. 5,700. Yeah, you did make it. Good job. Yes. <laughs> Barely. Barely. I've squeaked. I actually got a bigger margin mm. on that one than I did on the first one. It's a very clean run. Uh, let's go for number three. So, uh, reset and yep. then game select, is it? Uh, just do game select. Uh, we're going for a wing commander, so W. Okay. Yep. And reset. Ready? Yep. Oh, and switch. Because I don't think they ever start you in a, mm. a spot where you have to. The sash is still applicable. Yeah, I don't have to take ah, it. I don't reset, have to please. take it away. I might Res have to now. Switch. I wasn't thinking. Might have to take it away. Yeah. Why? I just got a second patch. Yeah, but you Don't take it away. So now, now you didn't get the third one. So. Oh no. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> My authoritarian reign is over. I have the to D shoot less. Yeah, the D train says I found that I could qualify for the patch on the first two levels and the hardest, but not the third. Not the third. Yeah, Hit my shield. Ah, <gasps> uh, that's not good. And it's over. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Because okay, I reset? got hit. Yep. Yep. Switch. Not the third. Maybe there's like a sweet spot on the third where it's like really challenging. Very nice. Two shots. Oh, very nice. Okay, switch. So far my tactic of just holding up to the right in these spots works perfectly. They shouldn't have made it so simple. <laughs> well, you're now teaching everyone how to... Excel at that first part. Exactly. Good. Couple, only a couple shots there. Because you get bonus for energy left over. I don't think I should shoot when they're that far away. Yeah, it's probably easier when they're a little closer. Yeah, it's you way save better. your bullets, right? Okay, switch. Oh my god, there's tons of them around here. Patch level three needs 70, 600, 600 max score 8,000. Mm -hmm. Likely can only dock for repair two Twice. times. Yeah. I only repaired once last time, so that's yeah. probably why I did okay, if you can fairly pull well. That off again. There's a, there's a oh. oh. They cut you fast, eh? That one, that guy did. The problem when they're close is that their bullets are very fast. Like really, really fast, and you have no time to shoot. 
So you have to be. It's not good. I have no lasers. Switch. Switch. And no warp. That's fine. I don't know what happened, but I'm running away. Uh, where did you guys get that sash? From a very special place. Tanya's hands. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I have to go to a ship. No lasers. You must have missed my unveiling of the W's. sash, Kathy. Yeah, it was a long, it was a while ago. <laughs> I sewed it. I bought the stuff and I sewed the stuff. It's got little... And it's got a mesh on it so that you don't actually have to sew the patches to it so that they just sit in there and they don't get damaged. And and I put fancy, flashy lights. Okay, switch. That didn't work. Switch. Solidly. There we go. Yeah, it flipped and flipped again. Either that or I forgot. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna flip with all the patches. James needs a vest now. Well, you only have so many patches, so uh, the the patches of the the day go in here. Yeah, exactly. Not all of them can fit. Not yeah, even close. No. Yeah, I'll work on the vest net. No. Ah, my lasers are dead. Help! Get out of here! Quick, switch. I'm dead. I'm not gonna are make you? the patch because this is my second docking. Oh no. This is a hard level. Yeah. Three? Like level three? Yeah, went way up in hardness. Mm. Yeah. I'll work on the vest next. The vest. That's what I need. A vest with patches. <laughs> okay, switch. Is that your last? I mean you can dock as many times as you want. You just get less and less points. Mm. If you get hit with no S, with with uh, your shields, maybe I should shoot them when they're tiny. I'm, what is that? What what was that? I'm gonna shoot when they're tiny. I don't care. <laughs> it's too dangerous. You're changing your tactics. Yeah, I changed my tactics for this mm. to try and get a higher score. Okay, switch. But it obviously did not work. Oh, they! Oh, that's what it was. They destroyed my ship. They did. Good. And you lose points, mm. or actually, you gain points for having the ships. I think. Mm. At the end, when you finish. Yeah, mm. it adds it up. James needs the vest and the tiara. Yes, I agree. I need a tiara. And my shield are dead. Oh no! Reset. Um, or are you quitting? No. Okay, now we can go. But I have to go dock a dock again. Yep. Switch. Uh, let's go this one. So I think if you leave your ships alone for too long with attackers near them, they get destroyed. Mm. Yeah, you can't survive without a shield. Can't survive without lasers either. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, God, well, lasers you need to shoot. And you can't survive without the radar because you can't see where to go. Mm. There's, there's one more th thing. Okay, switch. Bought my repo patches from machine. Two boxing checkers, two beam riders, half moon, two beam riders. Wow. Uh, Newer version of fishing bear and derby. Derby. Newer version. Oh. The original you made years ago. Very nice. Yeah. I think I've got the <laughs> boxing and checkers. I don't have the beam riders one. Oh my god. And my wood. Or whatever that wood is. And radar is dead. Uh, no. Okay. Switch. You cruise through the first two levels. So you're can't having a lot anything. more trouble with this one. Can you see my blocking you? No, perfectly you're okay. fine. This isn't that high. is a bit of a problem. Yeah, I was going to say. But it only blocked the lower half, which isn't used. Let's see what I look like. Oh, you're like in the dark? No, no, I'm fine. You can turn the lights back on if you want. You can. Okay, okay switch. 
Oh, there's not many left. Oh, didn't even see my score. Actually, it doesn't show your score to the end, I think. Because it has to add up things. Can you read what's on the screen? What does that say? Oh, James gets a new vest, Tanny gets a new tiara. No, the, la the newest line. I know. Uh, but maybe easier because the qualifying score is 9,000 and max score is 10,000. The differential is 10%, whereas game three is only five. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. But it's also quite hard, mm. too. It's not just hard to get that score. It's, but it's hard, yeah. It's hard. Oh, got it. Wow. Okay, switch. I don't think I'm going to get the score. Mm. But we'll see. We'll see how close I am and see how much harder I need to try to get it. The train says, see, I told you. <laughs> it is way harder. Way, way harder than number two. One and two were like nothing. Nothing. Come on. You're probably switching it the incorrect way. It's down, not up. Uh, what's up? Ah! Ah! Get out of the way! Oh my god, he's not all, my, all my energy on this dude. There we go, switch. Come on over here, Atari. Yeah, yeah kitties. There we go, kitties. Oh, I need to dock right after this one. Yeah, you do. Almost at a thousand. Thumpy people. Deliveries? Oops, something just got. Oh, I'm low on energy. Very low. Don't do it. Switch! I'm dead. Oh, you're dead? Oh no! Ran out of energy. Here's Atari. I'll give this one Here's one more Atari. try. He says hello. He's purring. Meow. Meow. Can you see him? There he is. No, you can't. Can You're too you? far oh, away. Oh, I'm too far over. Okay. Four. Reset, please. Yep. Switch. He's trying to put the Atari cat oh, in there. Oh, good. He is here. He has not as much room for error in this. Mm -hmm. Five percent. Thank you for those calculations. Thank you to the D train. train. Woo! Lots of people resubscribing. I need to do that too, actually. I just got hit because I looked over. Oh no! Don't D look over. I'll you tell you. You caused me. <laughs> no, thanks for resubscribing. Percy <laughs> seventy. Never tell me the odds. Okay, switch. You switch again. S switch again. You're like half switching or something. No, I'm hitting it fully. You're doing some Don't blame me. You're doing some bouncing Don't thing. blame me for issues with the Atari 2600. You're like double switching. You're stopping halfway between. No! Yep. Not even close. Something's happening. No, no, lies. The lies. Atari doesn't lie. <laughs> My Twitch name is Six Week. And it's not on the list right now. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't even support her own show. I do, but I have to go back. Because it doesn't tell you. No. Or it does tell you, but annoying. you haven't been on looking at Twitch, right? And sadly, I, I don't Switch. watch a lot on Twitch, so just mm. kind of bad. I need I need recommendations for for other streamers to watch. No, I have I have a few that I watch, watch from time to time. Yeah. yeah. music channels guy who phone scammers oh um oh he's great yeah yeah i guess he Kit does Boga. Live Boga? yeah so what he does is live streams every day for like five or eight hours and then he cuts down the good ones and puts them on youtube, on YouTube. switch Nope. Okay, yep. That's weird. It's sensitive. Maybe it's not completely... You have to be very deliberate. No, I am. I am. You're like half flipping. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. It's a little um, off. Mm. It's not quite connecting or something. I don't know. 
It's like... Uh, oh it's, no, we've got bots. Wanna become famous and buy followers? No, I don't. I'll deal with that Because they'd be fake. Sorry, people. <laughs> like, that person's not even watching. It's just a bot that comes in Oh no, in it's a bot. Spams. It's a bot, yeah. The thing is, they just come in, and then they go away. Yeah. So you, even kicking them is almost pointless, because they've done their... They've done their okay, thing. Okay, switch. And I wouldn't want to restrict this to subscribers only, because that's a way to prevent bots. Mm. Unless the bots are going to give you money, in which case you're like, sure. <laughs> I'm giving money, bots. <laughs> Cappyman2D. He says, ZH is my only Twitch channel, too. Oh, Although well, thank some you. of my YouTube channels I watch are likely Twitch, and that's true. Right. The nice thing about YouTube is you can catch up on them, you know, if, you, if you're not yeah. there to watch it live. And let's face it, if you're not 20, you're likely busy most most hours of the day, and you can't watch it live. Yeah, so. exactly. It's, my it's difficult. Middle age rant for the day. <laughs> Get off my lawn. Get off my lawn. <laughs> Young whippersnapper. <laughs> I am hitting that guy. You are. Like, there we go. Switch. I can do one more round. I think I'll go up here, which is close to a starbase. Unless you're lucky and you have the kind of job where you're working from home and you can have it running in the background. Yeah, you can just leave I'm it on. Not so lucky in that, in that Some of the people who watch it are programmers, like they program for a living, yeah. not just video games, yeah. not just 2,600 games. Um, so they can keep it on in the background. Ooh, that was a good shot. The D train. I watch this and occasionally some roller derby on Twitch. That what? I was not aware of was on Twitch. Switch. I now have to look up roller derby on Twitch. Uh, I need... Oh, I should have gone for fuel at the other place. Damn it! That's okay. Funny, I pronounce it... Z -P -H. Z -P -H. <laughs> ZPH. Not ZPH. You're Canadian. Yeah, what can you do? Therefore, you have to pronounce it ZPH. <laughs> Oops, I shouldn't shoot my You can pronounce shot. it any way you want, as long as you watch it. That's right. Okay, switch. Oh, that barely worked. Oh, I watch this. I only watch this channel on Twitch and 3D Bot Maker channel on YouTube. 3D Bot Maker? Oh. Huh, that's cool. WFTDA they will show sure. past games. World oh. Federation of something, something, something. <laughs> something. Roller Derby. <laughs> and a bunch of teams broadcast their games on Twitch. That's cool. We do know some local DJs who now do a lot of broadcasting. Yep. Because they were playing in clubs. Um, especially retro okay. industrial Switch. music. Yep. And they now stream Doing way on, better this time. They now stream on Twitch, so we watch them from yeah. time to time, and they're local people that you know. Yeah, and they um, just play good music, yeah. and you can put it on the background. You don't even need to watch it because it's just music. It's just music. they're dancing around. So. Yeah, so that's the other thing I think we probably watch on. Twitch. Yeah, probably the most. Probably the most. Lots of good eighties, eighties, new wave, industrial. That era synth. of music, synth pop music, yeah. Kind of nice because. Damn it, 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 damn it! Okay, switch. I have no shields. Switch properly. No, it worked, it worked, it worked. I would have pegged you guys as roller derby people. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the link. I'll, I'll check Maybe it out. Maybe it'll later. be cool. I've never watched a roller derby. I've seen. Clips in things of roller derby. You know, I would love to see it live. Not that that's a well, big that thing would now. be much more exciting. Yeah, and I know there are roller derby leagues in Vancouver. Um, oh yeah, switch. Is that the second trip? Doing pretty good, I think. We're definitely a West Coast hipster kind of place, so roller derby fits right in. Captain Classic 3x means you need to complete before Stargate 100. I don't know what that means. Must be quick. Hmm. That's Ramirez. ZPH is the only Twitch sub for me. What? Well, thank you so much. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of modern. Come on. Okay, switch. Twitch streamers who play retro games, but they often also play a lot of other things. They're going for content. And yeah, things. whatever's they popular. Play whatever. And usually it's Nintendo NES and above. 
They don't play well, older stuff a lot of them. I think it's age too, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. They go for maximum audience because yeah. they want to make lots of money. And you're not going to get money playing Atari games. Yeah, <laughs> sadly. It's just the audience is small. Yeah. It's just too small. Yeah, well, it's fine. But loyal. Loyal and fun. Way more fun. Oh, yeah. And it's... Okay, switch. Mm. I think I can finish this last... Ooh, I should be able to finish the last two. With the fuel I have. If I'm good. So I don't want to... Three times repairs a base, or was that two X repairs? Captain two. Says. two. Two, I think. Yeah. If I can finish this without refueling... <laughs> Just got one. Need two more. One on this and another one. Okay. And if they don't destroy my base. Okay, switch. I have enough, definitely. Last guy. And I hopefully can do it. The margins are so slim on winning in this. It's very, very hard. I've got enough. I've got a bunch of fuel to shoot. Is that a winning tune? <laughs> okay, Sounds switch right. over. See if I did it. What's the score I need to guess? Seven, Probably 8,000, right? I think it was 8,000. Oh my god. You're a little shy. Yeah. A little? A lot. Well, a little shy. A lot shy. Uh, they cannot oh, no. destroy base, need to surround it. They need 7,600, I need. Oh, you're close then. Yeah. Just not quite. Do you want to give it another go or do you well, want to try the other one? Let's see other what goal? I needed to do. There's a formula mm -hmm. in here. I have written down the formula. It is. Wow. Alan Miller went from hangman to this. Yeah. A... Wow. Alan Miller did surround, mm -hmm. hunt and score, which is concentration, hangman, mm -hmm. basketball, 3D checkers, Checkers, Othello, Tennis, which is awesome, Ice Hockey, which is awesome, Star Master, awesome, and Robot Tank, awesome. Those are all the Activision games. Um, yeah, it's quite a, quite a jump from mm. Hangman. <laughs> I lost one of the bases minus 500, but that still wouldn't get me up enough. Mm. Uh, yeah, base. Base is 500. Mm. Each enemy starfighter destroyed is you get a hundred points well i destroyed them all so it wouldn't i wouldn't have gotten any better um each unit of star date that is passed s minus one 126 is that s i guess mm -hmm. but i've played that pretty quick i don't think it would get much quicker it was pretty good each time the player's ship is docked um you lose a hundred points. I only docked twice, maybe three, maybe I missed. I think you docked a couple of more than a few times. Well, two at least, I count. Two at least, yeah. Maybe you have to keep it low. If you keep that low, that's how you keep your score high. I don't know. <clears throat> the only way would have been um, not having the base destroyed, which is kind of out of my hands. <laughs> They just attack, and you try and just fight them off around your base as quickly as possible, and which I always do first. Um, D. Each time the player ship is docked and filling of repairs, your energy doesn't count at all, but your energy going down makes you dock. Mm. So shooting less helps. Means helps, yeah. So you want to you wanna be careful with your shots. If yeah. you can. Okay. Let's do one more. One more? Um, yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah. So, uh, go there. Maybe beat game four and come back to game three. No. Doing, it, <laughs> doing them in a like, row. I have to do them more. <clears throat> Might as well. I mean, yeah. if game four is... Uh, easier, easier than even better. And it'll be a nice, nice uh, break after. There, that's how you do it. Okay, switch. Oh, no, not yet. Sorry, 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 sorry. Not yet. Not yet. No. No? 
Yeah, it has to be green. That means I've cleared it out. Oh, I see. So the, the secret is to stay around the base and clear out that base. Because you don't want to... And you don't want to travel very far. Because no. it uses up energy. Mm, makes sense. Right? Mm -hmm. You sh I, But I don't know how to protect the base. I'm just going to have to shoot less. Mm-hmm. Keep your energy level down. Okay. Or energy usage down, yeah. I should say. And we'll go there, because there's three. Because that's more efficient. Because they, they group and gather around. Mm -hmm. So it's better to go for more, because you use less energy moving. green at the bottom. Oh, you're that means I've shot all of them. There's three in this. So. Oh, are they always in doubles? Uh, oh, there's a round doubles? thing and then a... Well, the round thing is it shooting at me. Well, now I have to dodge. Okay. Yep, switch. Yep, switch. Because I have no radar. I don't know what war W is. Is warp? Maybe. You didn't read that out, did you? No, I didn't over. because you keep interrupting me, so it's very hard to read. Here? 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 No, I can't because you interrupt me constantly. I not don't that, get through this. Not that constant. Yes, you do. <laughs> if you want to pause and read it, go ahead. But I'm. It's, it's too hard. Okay, switch. See? You just asked me to switch. There's no way I could have read anything else, so. <laughs> I'm, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. It's, okay. it's too interrupty, so. I'm going to be fighting three guys here. It's going to take you like minutes. two seconds and then you're going to ask me to switch it. So. <laughs> Better um, to concentrate on the cat. Ah, uh, he's so happy and purry right now. And he's so soft. Yes, he will. I kind of want another glass of wine too. But... Well, that's a given. Yeah. <laughs> right. I have to still be able to hit the switches, you know, by the end of the stream. <laughs> ah! I slipped! Oh no! I'm sorry to distract you! Ah! One more guy. I'm getting hit a lot. You are. <laughs> does your energy go down when you get hit? I I'm think guessing. it does. I must. It must. Okay. Switch. I've already warp engine two times the energy usage. Mm. Oh. That makes sense. So you want to you want to fix that immediately then, because <sighs> you're going to use up double the energy if the whole engine is damaged. True. I guess I guess you have to do the math if it makes sense to go dock versus deal well, the with warp. two times the damage. Yeah, yeah. I'm not hitting them as well. Because I'm being conservative with my bullets. Yeah. Okay. Switch. And destroyed. What? What? I don't think you can win if one of those guys gets destroyed. I played a really good game. Mm. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, we're set. Um, You're going to try the other level? Level four? Yeah. Sure. You don't have to. Game slot? Yep. X? I don't know. I think it's us. Star Master. I'm so yep. Sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Reset. And switch. And say it's. Oh my god. Reset. Yeah, it sucks switch. When you start bad. Yeah, but I was up into an angle. Maybe they fixed that in Star Master. Maybe you can't do this trick. Maybe I was just not paying attention. But unlucky. The chat's gotten quiet. They're getting sleepy. <laughs> it's sleepy time. East Coast people. <laughs> I can't get up and like, I can't get a glass of wine. Oh no. no. <laughs> I mean, you could, but I would have a lot more trouble. So you have to get up and, and hit the flip switch. I was going to say if. Uh, what? The same like this. this. 
Yeah, I want to rewatch TNG now that you mentioned it. Well, I don't uh, think we have it, do we? Do we have no. it? No. No, you have to be... We have the original Star Trek. Oh, we only had, like, season one. Flip? And that was on HD TV. HD DVD. Yeah. What did I buy on Blu-ray? Switch. Look at all those guys. Oh. That's a lot of guys. And the Hulu only way you can it, watch... You know. We don't get Hulu in Canada. Hulu doesn't Sadness. exist in Canada. Yeah. You can't do this trick in this. No? I have to shoot them. Or, like, change directions, at least. Mm. Is it really easier in this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's sad. We used to get Hulu because we used to do this, what is it, spoofing? No. No, we never watched it. We never got Hulu. Yeah, we would pretend we got a VPN and pretend we were in the U.S. for a while. We never yeah, did. Did. What are you talking about? I remember Hulu? doing that. Hulu? No, we never yes. watched Hulu. Yes. Uh, switch. We pretended we were in the U.S. and we could get Hulu for a while. Oh gosh, what's going on? I guess I need to That's fix crazy. my black and white. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We were able to for a while. It was a long time ago and now it doesn't oh, matter. It must have been a long time ago. Long, long, long time yeah. ago. But a lot of Hulu is on Crave TV now, I think. Yeah, which is Canadian. Which is Canadian. So we'll just have to find it. <laughs> Ooh, I need to dock. Oh, you do. After this. Mm -hmm. Not quite there yet. Do you have Netflix that should have all the Star Trek series? Yeah, it's possible they have it too. Hulu has many, many TV shows and some films worth watching. Could I if I don't shoot this guy quickly? So, for the Americans, okay, the switch. audience. Um, now. The distribution deals they make with Canada are different than the US. So, something you might get in, in Canada no. on Netflix. May not be down, maybe not be we'll in the be US. We'll be on a completely different platform in Canada, so it's it's. It's by region. It's 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 completely different. So it is not a, a distribution deal for Netflix world. Yeah. Sometimes, but usually it's not. Yeah. So you might find something that's on a completely different, like it might be on Prime in Canada and it's on Netflix in the U.S. It's really weird. Yeah. So I got two out of the four. Mm. Um, so I'm very happy. I, I thought I was just going to get the one. But I got two right away. That was On excellent. the first tries, yep. each. And then the third, I couldn't get it all. And the fourth was just brutal. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're losing, you're losing your knockout kings there. Here we go. Twist it. Twist it. This is the wrong way because you flipped it. And well, it's kind of ill-fitting. I think if I remake it, I'll make sure you can put them on this side, but... It takes it's about tough. 200 to warp next door, I think. Yeah. I see. Captain Kirk would be proud. Well, Aww. thank you very much. Who doesn't like William Shatner? That's I mean. right. So today we play yep. Space Pac-Man. Excellent start to the game. Thank you, Ricardo Pym, for letting us really fun. debut it. Really fun and easy to play. I love games like that. Simple, easy to jump play. Right fun, in. jump right in. Yep. Enjoy it immediately. Yep. Played Alice in Wonderland, a great, great. start. And I love Looks... the beginning, even the trees in the beginning yeah. scene. Beautiful. Yeah, really, really uh, good. Ghost Up 2, fun game. Yep. Almost made it to the end, very mm -hmm. close. Um, and Star Monster, uh, obviously an incredible game. Mm -hmm. um, and that's an only a 4K game. It has two separate screens. It has all this action. Mm. It's amazing what they... Um, thank you, Dan ABC. It was a good show. Mm -hmm. Amazing what those Activision programmers are able to get yes. into f small spaces and that's incredible to pack that into 4k mm -hmm. dr pepper's best though mr pib will do it i've never had mr pib that is a very i, I have that's a very american I've drink just heard of it yeah um mr. Pib. What did they there's make so many knockoffs what did they make fun of it on there was a tv show or or a animate animated show mr pibs no american dad yeah I think they talk about Mr. Pibbs. <laughs> do they? I swear they drink? do. And I've ne I'd never heard of it as a thing, but Dr. Pepper we do get here. So, yeah. yeah. Mr. Pibbs. Um, Mr. Pib. How is big is Star Raiders for 2600? Mr. Pib either. <laughs> Mr. Let Pib is hard to come by. See how also, big Star Raiders is. <laughs> Dr. Thunder, Dr. Lightning, and Mr. Perky. Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh, Packwright doesn't like Dr. Pepper. Tastes like cough syrup. It is extremely sweet as far as, as um, uh, pop goes. 
pop. Star yeah. Raiders is 8K. So it's double the double the size. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's a little bit more detailed, RC but Cola. not much. Um, so yeah, they packed in <laughs> quite a bit. Pop. Pop. Tastes like prune <laughs> juice. Mm, I haven't really drank prune juice. <laughs> no, I haven't. I don't think I have either. Yeah. Don't think that would be very tasty for, for game, game sizes. sizes. Nice. Yeah. yeah. yeah nice. Excellent. Nice. Yeah. Um. So I don't think I have anything planned for the <laughs> next episode yet. I was kind of piecing together this one, but it will be on the next Friday, which is November fourth. Um, and then it's just three weeks to John Shampoo's uh, Spotlight. And uh, yeah, lots of other things happening. And then we'll do a Christmas holiday uh, special after that. I'm excited for at that. At a random random yes. day. We'll get, figure it out. Because you have some days off. Well, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Do. I'm going to take those days off. So uh, So we'll be able to do. They, it was supposed to yeah, be for other things. But, uh, we are going to do it on Christmas, weren't we? Yeah, we might as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah, so I just haven't put that in there. You so know, we're going to do a Christmas lockdowns show. Lockdowns and all. Uh, <laughs> we might as yeah. well do a Christmas show. You might They've as well join us if you don't have other plans. Boarded up our front door. <laughs> we can only leave, sneak through the windows. Yeah. Gold Rush is not scheduled for a date. Mm. Um, but it is on the schedule. So I don't know when that will be. I, I think he's getting very close. Mm. But there hasn't been a lot of uh, updates, public updates about it. So um not sure when that will be, but we'll play it as soon as it's ready. Um, uh, Kathy Man 2D. Sorry, he's referencing drinks. He says, <laughs> okay. uh, the only pop I drink is ginger ale, usually with Jim Beam. I would say as a Canadian, it's rye and ginger. So, Rye and ginger. Rye, yeah. which is rye whiskey, which is very Canadian. You don't have either of those hit in the house do you no i don't but <laughs> so. but that's something that's that's a very canadian drink ryan oh. ginger list of the third annual atari homebrew awards nominations list uh will be released um i did have this date up here mm. let me just give you those dates because right now obviously it's not ready yet because the year's not over mm. so there could be games get it completed any day you never know when a game's going to be completed um, That's true. Of course, yeah. there's all the uh, Atari Age games that are going to come out with their covers and everything. Mm. So those will be available for In nominations. December? Well, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Looking by the watch, it's, it's he's getting got, close. He's got three days. Yeah. So maybe he'll get it in in three days. Yeah. Uh, he's he's going to have it before the end of the year. I'm pretty sure. Um. Anyway, uh, yeah, the cutoff is at the end of the year mm. for games. So new works in progress are coming out. Like, we just played a new one mm. tonight. Yeah, so yeah, that's, yeah. that's a work in it's progress. It's constantly coming out. So yeah. that's available to be nominated. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's constant. Um, so January uh, 1st to the 10th, the nomination committee is going to be Votes. narrowing them down. Gotcha. To the top X. Okay. Might be the top six this year. Uh, we had 10 last year. It was maybe a bit too many. I haven't decided yet. Mm. But it's probably six. We're going to try for six. Um, and then the voting starts on January 15th. So middle of January. Mm. So when you guys be clicking. Clicking your favorite games. Uh, nope. Not starting the work in progress folders to the end of December. Yeah. Because it it's dangerous. Like Arena Foot would have to do a lot of work. Especially at, they keep getting released. And he's mm. like, oh, I have to kick that one out. I have to replace this version. I have to add this one in. It's just like, no, it gets cut off. It, very end of December is the best time to do that. Mm. Uh, completed games, yes. You know, you can get the completed games are completed. There's yeah. no more to be added yeah. to them. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then the awards is on February 6th. That's a Saturday. Um, who's going to be here to present them? At least Tanya and I. <laughs> Anybody else? It depends on how things uh, are going. Lockdowns, here. vaccines, all those fun all things. Those, well, we won't yeah. be vaccinated, that's for sure. Well, some people might be. Once they start doing that, it might get a little easier, but I don't know. It's not happening here. Not for us plebs. Um, no. <laughs> no. But 
we're at the very worst it's ever been in BC. Oh, BC's bad right now. And it's well, not, so is most of the states. I'm, so is I'm everything. sorry. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry for that. Um, Zoom awards. Zoom awards. Yeah, exactly. We're all zooming in. Um, well, but we'll see. We'll, well see I mean, what, all, all how the, things are in February. February is a long way away. So. All the rip recipients are going to be yeah. <laughs> via Zoom. Yeah. Um, present awards via Zoom. That's challenging because we only have one laptop. And the people accept, accepting the awards <laughs> yeah. will be on the Zoom. So yeah. no, it's, well, it's we'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll figure it out. It might not be that bad. We might. It might be an outdoor ceremony. <laughs> Everyone's outdoor on our balcony. Ceremony. <laughs> Everyone's on the balcony this year. That's right. um, Remote webcams of Darcy and Aaron. yeah, in the park. We're in the park. Just All the homeless people in. in the park are like, "What's going on?" We're gonna zoom in on them. <laughs> They're gonna go. Go in with their cell phones and they can talk. Over yeah, it's like they do on the <laughs> yes. news. Like they do on the news. Now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're in their car with their windows rolled up and they're on their cell phone. Oh god, they're zoomed in with their cameras. That's so, so funny. funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, homebrew Starfire. Yeah. Um, so yeah, February sixth is the awards presentation. So make sure you have that on your calendar. You don't want to miss oh. that. Some other fun. They would be very tiny. <laughs> Yeah. We'll just zoom in on them too. Yeah. Like digital zoom. So they're like little pixel people. Little fuzzy pixel people. <laughs> that would be very funny. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So that's what's happening for everyone coming up. Um, yeah. The only thing scheduled for the rest of the year that's on the schedule right now is the developer spotlight at John Champo, mm -hmm. December 18th. And then the Christmas holiday homebrew special mm -hmm. is uh, December 25th. It's a Friday, so we don't we don't even have to worry about what day it is. It's going to be the exact same time, exact same day, right? Mm -hmm. Six o'clock, fine. Still mm -hmm. that day. We're mm -hmm. just home, so yeah. yeah. Um, and there should be two very special shows before the end of the year. Yes, fingers crossed. Yeah. Yep. Should be, you never know. <laughs> uh, it, things happen. Might be next year. Might be mm -hmm. early next year, mm -hmm. but hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the beginning in January, we're going to be uh, doing a playthrough of all the nominated games. Yes, that's yes, going to yes, be yes. a lot of fun. Um, that'll be in the last half of January after the nominations are done. Mm -hmm. So we'll reveal the nominations and mm -hmm. and as people are voting. So that uh, you can see us playing them and evaluate them yourself, or you play them, make it a very easy, like a very special different strokes. strokes. That's right. Uh, special shows get delayed to twenty twenty one. That's fine. No, I mean they, I, they should be around. They, they should be are almost guaranteed. Yeah. to be this year. Yeah, almost guaranteed. <laughs> because that was creepy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, those shows are creepy. Yeah, the special ones because they're always dealing with like weird topics like special topics like well they're drinking somebody gets drunk one of the kids or yeah they get in trouble <laughs> somebody from WARKRP plays a, a, cre a creepy dude <laughs> a on creepy different dude. Yeah, yeah 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 and on that note thanks everybody for tuning in yes. D Train 37 Cafe Man 2D S Ramirez 2008 Arena Foot Miss Command Captain Classic uh, Pack Rat VG. I'm Scar Dan, Coder. I'm Coder. Dan AVC. Uh, well, scrolling, scrolling. Uh, that's. Oh, spam. Two spams in a row. Yeah, oh yeah, there were a couple of spams in there. Um, uh, Metal Lunar 7. Found another person. RC7E. And that's it for the list. <laughs> See if anybody typed in the meantime while yeah. we're reading Pack those. Packrat at the bottom there. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Flackets, hello. Oh, Goodbye. Flackets. So yeah. we'll see you next Friday again. Yes. For more awesome uh, 7,800 and 2,600 games. Yes. See you next time. Yeah, bye, guys. Bye, all.